What is up, my friends? You are welcome along to another match day here on Anfield Agenda. The Reds take on Marco Silva's Fulham in a 2 p.m. kickoff. The team news is in. I'll go through it in a moment. But as always, I hope you're all well. For those of you who don't know, Liverpool have been drawn against Arsenal in the third round of the FA Cup at the Emirates. So, yeah, there is that. So that's a tricky draw to kick us off in the FA Cup anyway. So away to Arsenal at the Emirates in the FA Cup. That has just happened, so we can confirm that that's Liverpool's opponents. Other than that, I hope we're all good. I mean, surely we got to get to three points today. Team news is in. It is, as I predicted in my preview, exactly as I thought we were going to line up. Fulham's news is in. I'll go through that momentarily. But yeah, it is Arsenal. Yes, really. That is the game we have. That's the one, so... I've seen somebody saying, what's Craig's hoodie going to be today? See, see, I threw you off. Threw on a t-shirt instead. Lots of love from Australia. George, how are we, mate? Welcome in. Yeah, I don't know why he has Andy Robertson in the starting lineup. Don't know why. Hey, Connor, is there any reason why Andy Robertson didn't start and line up? Uh, no, Robbo, they shit to bed with that one. Robbo isn't playing. It's Costas. I don't know why Robbo's there, but he is. But it's Costas, so don't worry about that. That's just, again, we're not, we're, you know, whenever Craig goes not involved in something, you know, mistakes happen. But there you go. So, yeah, he'll see that message eventually whenever he wakes up and realises it's a work day and he's got his phone and he should be listening to his messages and it's a work day and he's still not listening to the message. But he'll get the message eventually because it's a work day. Your favourite superhero? Um, I don't have one, really. Super Ted? Does he count? Because I remember watching Super Ted when I was growing up. So uh, there he is now. He's realising that he's made an absolute howler and uh, frantically fixing it. So there we go. How are we, everybody? Good, 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 good. There we go. He said, I'm watching the stream. Had it on there. That's very well and good, gentlemen, but shouldn't have been there in the first place. Now, now. Mistake from my end? Never. There isn't mistakes from my end. Don't be silly. The only mistakes I make are uh, big ones. Not little ones like that. When I make mistakes, it's big ones. I save my mistakes for the massive errors. I'm, uh, I'm good like that. You know, I, I wait for the just about to be cancelled mistakes. So, let's go through the 11s and see how we're all feeling ahead of the game. Right, let's go. Starting off with the Liverpool team, we have Creevin Kelleher in goal, Trent Alexander-Arnold at right back, Costa Simicus at left back, Virgil van Dijk and Joel Matip are your centre-backs for today, Alexis McAllister, Ryan Gravenberg and Dominic Sobosly are your midfielders and up top it is Mohamed Salah on the right, Lucho on the left and Darwin through the middle as we expected. Well, I know a lot of people were thinking that Gakpo was going to play, but I did say in the preview that I think we had a few clues from Jurgen. He left Gakpo on to the end of the game, took Salah off, took uh, Lucho off. I think he gave us a few clues as to how he was going to line up. For Fulham, it is like this. Leno, Tete, Reem, Bassi, Robinson, Reid, Polina, Iwobi, Andreas, Wilson and Raul. Uh, again, obviously I was... Messing with the lads earlier on. I couldn't do what I do without Ben and Connor in the background. And we all make these little errors on a match day. Uh, I'm not awake yet, so I wouldn't have spotted it. So well done to the chat for spotting that. But look, in all seriousness, I couldn't do this without the lads. So uh, it's just a bit of banter, really. Nah, nah, I hate them. I can't lie anymore. It's, just, it's been one big fraud. It isn't, though. It's too early, this. By the way, these 2 p.m.s are killing me. Too early. I know you're thinking, Craig, 2 p.m. But for me, 2 p.m.s like you're 8 a.m. So yeah, these early, early ones are killing me. The game against Arsenal in the FA Cup, that is going to be interesting. I mean, could we have had a more difficult tie? Probably not. Arsenal love an FA Cup run. So the fact that we've been drawn against them away at the Emirates, just to confirm for anybody late into the chat. Uh, what's this? We're here on 1st of January for that game as well. New Year's Day. Oh, that's a disgusting day to be playing an FA Cup game. My God, and we have Arsenal on the 23rd as well. So lots of lots of big games coming up now. So in that 10-day period alone there, we're going to have Man United at home. We're going to have West Ham in the League Cup at home. Then we're going to have Arsenal. And then we're going to have Arsenal again on the 1st in the FA Cup. That is a, a blockbuster 10 days. 
Right, Connor has very kindly sent me over the substitutes benches as well. For the Reds, Joe Gomez, Watoro Endo, Ibrahim Akanade, Adrian, Curtis Jones, Cody Gakpo, Harvey Elliott, Ben Doak and Jarl Kwanzaa. That's your Liverpool bench today. For Fulham, it's Rodak, uh, Adrobayo, Kearney, Belo Torre, Decredo Vareed, Willian Castagna, Lukic and Carlos Vinicius. Immediately, my mind's going to somebody's bet that I know we have on in the Discord. i seen a bet earlier on and it was two Timothy Castagna fouls as part of the bet. So, you better hope he comes off the bench, mate. Or at least that selection will be voided if he doesn't start. Your 2pm is legitimately my 8am. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, that's a fair show. I mean, I always do think of the guys over in uh, Canada, America, and certainly over on the other coast of America, where you've got your uh, your LA and whatnot. Like, they're, what, six, seven hours behind where we are? So, wow. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, you're better than me. I'd be, well, I'd probably be still in bed watching it, but I certainly wouldn't be doing watch-alongs if I was in the States. How do I watch it? You know, on days like today, there's only one company that can really come in and help you out, and that is... Uh, of course, Surfshark. So we don't have a sponsor today, but that's how we watch them, basically. As we said to you before, we use Surfshark, we use the Spanish The Zone account, uh, and they show all the games. So we uh, we pay gladly pay for that each month because, well, it gives us the, uh, the option for days like today, really. So it makes it worth it. Sunderland got Newcastle in the FA Cup as well, apparently. Oh, my days. That's... Um, that's shocking. I mean, there's some really tasty FA Cup draws in there, but Sunderland, Newcastle, Liverpool, or Arsenal, Liverpool. Who was laughing at United last night? Do you know what? It was weird, that game last night, because United were never really in the game that much. Like, It was just a really abject performance from them, which is good to see. Obviously, today, when we follow this game, we've got a massive game in the Premier League as well. Manchester City against Spurs. I'll be over on top of the league with Adam for that one. Adam will be starting about 4 o'clock. I'll be jumping over about 25 past just before we kick off. Your 2 a.m. is my 5 p.m. That's that's a big time difference. Uh, FA Cup draw so fixed, so unreal. We get Arsenal and City get easy game yet again. I, do you know what, though? Honestly... I'm not arsed. I'm not fussed. Domestic cup competitions are great and all that, but for me, Premier League, European Cup, they're the two ones. So this year, Premier League, Europa League, that's my focus. Uh, League Cup, look, we're in a good position there. Got a game coming up against West Ham. We're not too far away from the old final then. So I'm okay. You know, tough FA Cup draw, but I'm not a fan, really. You know, I know I've said this loads of times and people are obviously... Right to disagree with me, but I prefer the League Cup. I just do. I don't know why. Maybe it's Liverpool's history with the competition, but for me, it's always been one that I've preferred. But what a game, though. I'm looking forward to it. Two games against Arsenal in the space of 10 days. That should be fun. Craig, is today's formation 4-3-3 attack? This isn't FIFA, mate. There is no actual 4-3-3 attack formation against 4-3-3 defensive formation. It is exactly as it always is. Liverpool in possession will have a 3-box-3 three three midfield. Liverpool out of possession will go back to a 4-3-3. It's pretty much that simple. Um, yeah, you know, we're, we're pretty predictable in that sense. Uh, I don't see Jürgen changing it today. I think maybe we'll mix it up over the festive period because we're going to have to rotate a fair bit with the amount of games coming up. But yeah, I don't expect any surprises today. Do, do, do. I'm an hour ahead and I still don't like broccoli. I knew I loved you for a reason, one, two, three. Uh, they, uh, we, none of us do. Even the people in the chat that pretend they like broccoli, really, they message me on the, on the down logo on that, Craig, we don't like broccoli. It's an evil vegetable. Singapore is in the house. How are we, my friend? Welcome in. Will Ali play Wednesday? No, he won't. I think the game for him that's been penciled in is United. So that will be 17th of December. Um, so the games, if my memory's right, the league games that we will have Queen in is today, Sheffield United and Crystal Palace, if my memory's right. And then I think there's Union San Gilois as well in the, um, in, the, in the Europa League. But that's a dead rubber anyway, so... Why did Fulham sell Mitrovic? Well, Mitrovic made Fulham sell him, pretty much. He screamed and cried and begged and pleaded for all that Saudi money. And that's kind of what happened. Uh, they wanted him, they got him. They wanted Marco Silva, he wouldn't go. 
Uh, but Mitrovic really kicked up a sting trying to get that move because he wanted that money. So um, that's how, pretty much. Am I a fight fan? Oh, God, yes, Omar. Hugely. Uh, but in the sense of boxing, not really UFC, not my thing. But yeah, yeah, I love a bit of combat sports. How do people know the FA Cup draw? Because it took place, mate. It was announced earlier on during the only reason I know is David Lynch messaged it out and Connor sent it in to me. Liverpool drawn away at the Emirates in the third round. Sunderland Newcastle as well. Some tasty games there. Uh, who did Manchester City get? Some fifteenth division. Oh, they probably got like hashtag United Four team or something down there looking after all, did they? Doesn't matter. They might as well enjoy these uh, English Cup competitions while they're allowed to play in them. Hopefully they won't be uh they won't be bugging us all for too much longer. I can't wait for that trial to come to an end or that whole case to come to an end because it feels like it's been going on too long. Did you see, what do you think of Mick Conlon's fight last night? I thought Jordan Gill was just too strong for him in all honesty. He never recovered from the knockdown and obviously he's an Irishman. It's really sad to see Mick Conlon be beaten like that again. Um, but whatever, whatever Mick Conlon decides to do, he's represented Ireland, all of Ireland, very very amazingly, very well. Olympic medalist, world champion, world amateur champion, I should say. Um, just never really got his hands on the belt uh, at professional level, but he's a, he's a great ambassador for the island of Ireland and uh, not but good things to say about Mick Conlon. Polina is a worry, Craig. Might boss midfield due to tackles. Now, now, come on now. Now, now, we're at Anfield. We're at home. We're strong. Let's let them worry about us, and, and then we'll go from there. We don't want to be... Polina's good, but come on now. Come on, we've got a midfield that we should be happy with. Gravenberg, McAllister, Sobosly. I'll take that, thank you very much. Mo can get his 200th Liverpool goal today at Anfield. Yes, let's hope he does, Lee. I think it's like 200 in 300 games, something ridiculous like that. That is, that is a phenomenal return from Mo. We tried to feed Alfie the dog broccoli and he ran away. I don't blame him. He shouldn't come back. You know, he shouldn't come back. You're going to have to get him a nice steak or something to make up for it because even the old doggos know what's up with broccoli. What time is the game? Andrew, it will be kicking off in 47 minutes, buddy. 2 p.m. kickoff airtime. Would you take Rashford at Liverpool? God, no. God, no, Curtis. So... I never really pay too much attention to Marcus Rashford's work rate because I'm not a United fan. I don't really care. I keep an eye out if he scores or not. But sitting there watching that game last night with Adam, he was awful. Like, no effort, no tracking back, no work rate, hands on his hips. I just wasn't impressed at all. So absolutely not. When is Robertson expected to return? Um, I don't want to give you an exact date because the truth is we don't have one, but... I would suspect you're looking at after Christmas anyway, unfortunately. Your choice for the next Republic of Ireland manager? It's such a horrible question. Like, I don't want Keane. I, f I fear we're going to end up with Steve Bruce. Um, I God, I don't know. As I said the other day, I wouldn't say no to a little bit of Allardici, but... It's just such a weird job at the minute. Like I don't even know what the expectation levels will be depending on whoever comes in. Uh, Connor, if you're in the background, mate, if you're listening to me, put it into the chat there. Who'd be your choice for the next Ireland manager? Be interested to get a younger man's perspective. Need Diogo back for Arsenal. Game will be the first week of the year. Yeah, hopefully he is back. Hopefully he is back. Um, we haven't got a confirmation on... Lee Carsley's a good shout. I just don't think he'll be leaving the England under 21 role. But it is a good shout. And I wouldn't say no to Lee Carsley either. I just think uh, with his job there at the FA, I'm not really sure. I don't even know if Ireland will be able to match what he's getting paid there. And I don't even know what he is at the FA. But we haven't got that much of a budget. <coughs> Alright, I'll take the job then. Go on, you've charmed me. Just FAI. Give me a tinkle. I'll take the job. I'll bring my own backroom team in with me as well. Don't worry. I've, I've got some qualified coaches and stuff I can drag up with me. We'll do it. We'll get Ireland to the next World Cup with me at the helm. Has to happen. 
I banned broccoli immediately from the training ground, from uh, all facilities of the FAI. At underage level, right through to senior level, I'll be removing broccoli. So you'll see the results very quickly. What's my favourite Nike kit? So my favourite Liverpool Nike kit? Um, don't really have one. I haven't really been a fan of the Nike kits in all honesty. Um... Maybe the cream coloured away one with a bit of green on it. Not really been a fan of them. Although, to be honest with you, this season's away kit has grown on me as the season's gone on. Um, when I first seen it, I, I just seen the shirt, but it looks a lot better as a full kit. So, yeah, that's definitely grown on me. I got it from my son, then realised it's not actually that bad. Is Mo there for the FA Cup match or is away? I don't know the answer to that, Josh. Mate, I'm not 100% certain of the date of the start of the AFCON. The purple is gorgeous. Oh, no, no, no. It just, the purple one just reminds me of a washing, uh, a washing powder ad. You know, it's, it's got chamomile. It's got... Yeah, it's not my cup of tea, the purple one now. Have I been watching the snooker? I haven't been watching it, but I've seen Ronnie O'Sullivan made it to the final. But I haven't been paying any attention to it outside of that, really. Darwin's new hairstyle going to bag a hat-trick today. We can but hope. First AFCON game is January 13th. Huh. I don't know when he'd be called up then. You'd imagine it'd be 10 days minimum beforehand, probably. I think that might be close. Might be close. Maybe Liverpool will ask and they hang on to him for that game against Arsenal. Let's hit 229k today, said Marcus Cavern. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate your super chat, mate. And yes, friends, do hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. He says 229, which I love, but I'm greedy. I want us to try and push for the big 230, so do hit that subscribe button if you're new. What's my favourite film of all time? Sort of thinking about this the other night, Damo. Um... So I've rewatched some of my old favourites. Like recently, I've rewatched Goodfellas. I've rewatched Donny Brasco. I've rewatched a few others. I'm gonna go with a Bronx Tale. It's a film that really resonated with me, and I don't know why. I think it's the battle of you know the normal working class father doing the honest job, driving a bus. His son, you know, sees the fancy fast life with the gangsters. Robert De Niro's directorial debut. Just, it's a film I've always loved. So I'm going to go with A Bronx Tale. And then the Rocky film's got to be up there as well. Uh, AFC Max, how are we, my friend? Thank you so much for your super chat, buddy. Said, hey, Craig, do you see we got you guys at home in the FA Cup third round? I can't wait to play you guys at Anfield in the Premier League. You're going to watch us in the Champions League since United are out. Yes, I very, I'm very. i looking forward to see how you get on in the Champions League, mate, in the knockout stages. Um, nothing but respect for Arsenal, as I keep saying. Um, I'm not overly happy with the FA Cup draw. I mean, look, it's a difficult one for us. I'm not going to lie, mate. Going to the Emirates in a competition that you guys are pretty good in. Uh, it's going to be interesting. And we've got two games pretty much within the space of 10 days against each other. So, do you know what? I'll be honest with you, Max. I, I don't know how the chat feels about this, but I'd take a league victory over you if I had to just have one. I'd take the three points in the league and go out with a cup. That's That's my take on it. So, that's what I'd do. Right, I'm going to get the first poll of the day up. I'm going to ask you guys for the result of the game today. So, one second. This should be a landslide, lads. I'm expecting this to be a landslide. Right, vote away, my friends. Right, is this Darwin's hairstyle? Ah, here. No, no, no. No, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Nah. Ah, nah. Dude's going around looking like Pippi Longstockings. Oh, 
Dude is going around looking like Pippi Longstockings. Oh, I've just seen a picture of Darwin's hair, lads. Come on now. <sighs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Oh my God, that is it. I mean, look, I love that he doesn't give a shit. I love it, but... Oh, God almighty. Right, Liverpool bench today. Joe Gomez with Toro Endo, Ibrahim Akanade, Adrian, Curtis Jones, Cody Gakbo, Harvey Elliott, Ben Doak, and Jarrell Kwanzaa. That is your Liverpool bench. I can't find it. Don't worry, George. You're not missing anything. I'll tell you one thing. With that bleeding Barnet today, you better go out there and at least a brace. I'm, I'm expecting at least a brace with that haircut. Uh, what station's the game on? I'm watching it on uh, the zone, mate. I've got a Spanish the zone account that we use for days like today, but feels like the perfect day to plug. Even though we're not sponsored by them today, plug our, our sponsor Surfshark. Don't forget to check them out. Um, I think if my memory's correct, it's Anfield ten. Is it Anfield ten or Anfield twenty? Connor, what's the Surfshark code, mate? Off the top of your head, if you know it. I think it's. Is it Anfield twenty? I can't remember. Give me two seconds. Can I show us the haircut? I don't want to look at it again, in all honesty. Oh, Anfield Agenda is the code. There you go. Boom. Apologies. So, get yourself over to Surfshark. Put in the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. And you will get the Surfshark VPN package for just a little over €2 Euro per month. With up to six months extra free as well. Get yourself over to Surfshark. Use the word Anfield Agenda. All one word at checkout. Boom. An exclusive Surfshark deal. The link is in the chat there as well. If you would like to get creative and find a way to not only safe, safely browse the web, but of course... Get yourselves uh, the option of watching some football. Whose haircut was it? Darwin's, mate. It's um, bold. Let's go with that. Bold. That's the word I'm going for. Uh, Curtis Harvey, thank you for the super chat, mate. Said uh, Jared Bowen if Salah leaves. I wouldn't say no, mate. I've been uh, an admirer of Jared Bones for a while. Thank you, Mark, for giving me the heads up on that. I missed that super chat originally, so thank you for that. And thank you, Curtis, for sending it, mate. Did you guys see Adam's channel last night, by the way? I was so happy for him. So, obviously, Adam and United lost last night. And Adam went to do his match reaction over on his own channel. And he sent me a screenshot. Somebody sent Mr. Adam Stodich. Stod I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here, sorry. <clears throat> somebody sent Adam a super chat for $400 400 US dollars I didn't even know super chats could go that big and uh, Adam got that last night and I was so happy for him a new day, a new dawn from a new channel, a new brand and uh, a great way to start it so I don't know who that person was that sent Adam that super chat, I don't know if you'll see this message but mate well played. That is awesome. It made his weekend. And fair play to you. That was absolutely unbelievable. I was going to call him Stonage. I nearly called him Adam Stonage. That's why I was, I was giggling to myself there a minute ago. Uh, Craig, honestly, watching the fall of Chelsea, Spurs and United is great content. Uh, things you love to see, honestly. Nothing went wrong. I mean, I'm being attacked here. Being attacked, bombarded. Sorry, we'll do that again, AFC Max. Uh, watching the fall of Chelsea Spurs United is great content to watch. Could honestly do with Man City with you guys challenging Man City uh, or leaving just us two to it. I'll eventually get through that comment the right way, Max. It'd be lovely if it was us and you, mate. I mean, that'd be a nice. Do you know what? If it was Liverpool and Arsenal in the title race, that would feel that would feel good for me. I'd much prefer that than Abu Dhabi FC. Do I play video games? I do not, Taylor. No, I don't have the time. There's the haircut. Look, guys. They're, they're killing me. That's Darwin's haircut. I don't even know what to say, lads. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. I won't be copying it. I can safely say that.
Wonder what Klopp had to say. What can you say? The man's expressing himself. Is it but but if you're showing up with that type of uh, haircut, you best be on the score sheet. That's all I'm saying. That's the haircut of a man who's gonna bag a brace. Anything less than well, you know. Have you seen the Jackson Astrid Wet stuff? So here's the thing. I don't judge anybody for what they do, but I have zero interest in anything in that whole world of Astrid Wet, Simple Simon, all that world. There's just no interest to me whatsoever. If people want to throw money to see this stuff, that's on you. That's you know, I'm not here to judge. But no, mate, I haven't seen it. And I don't even have a clue what, what where you're going with it. So no, mate. Not for me. It's yeah, it's definitely uh definitely not my generation, that one. Nicholas Jackson was asking her for pictures and he had a child last week. So I I I'm not saying that. I'm not doing it. Every urge in my body has about four smart arse answers to that. But I'm not doing it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna remain neutral. Uh, I'm not here to judge. But it is a bit slimy if he's asking. If his missus just had a baby and he's asking another lady for pictures, that's a bit fucking greasy, to be honest with you. But I'm not judging the ladies. You know, I always think of it this way: people are stupid enough to give them money to look at them naked when there's perfectly good porn for free on the internet. Have at it. But I don't get it. I keep saying this, and I'm gonna say it again. You you all realise that you can get all this stuff for free, right? That's all I'm saying to you. Come to me and I'll save you a fortune. But don't come to me for your porn. That's definitely not my uh, <laughs> my forte. Would I get a haircut like Darwin's? Not a bleeding chance, mate. No. God, I, do you know what? A couple of reasons. I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't pull it off. Nor, no, I couldn't pull it off. Simple as that. There's no way me with that. Like, Darwin could pull it off. He's got that cheeky smile, that big athletic physique, you know. But me, I just look like a proper weirdo. Uh, porn ruins the soul, does it? Okie doke. Well, consider me damned. <laughs> the child's his brothers. What? Who he has children with? <laughs> Look, how did I get dragged into this? I'm here to talk about football today, not footballers sliding into DMs asking for naked pictures. My God. Uh, John Conway, thank you, mate, for being a member for 14 months. Uh, Deacon Wood, thank you, mate, for your one-month milestone. Uh, free milestone chat. Thought I'd say hi to the goat. Thank you, mate. Appreciate you. Still repping Jimmy Milner. Nothing wrong with that. How, how are we here? Like, braid your eyebrows. See, I take offence to that, right? Chris, I take a huge offence to that. Saying braid your eyebrows. I have one, mate. Look. <laughs> it's magnificent. But it's only one. So it's eyebrow, buddy. Eyebrow. Uh, what have we got? What's your thoughts on Curtis Jones? He wasn't impressive in the last game when he came on. But for the last year, I think Curtis Jones has been pretty consistent. Uh, certainly better than he was in seasons gone past. And I think fully deserving to be in and around that team. Uh, but I wasn't impressed with him the last day when he came on. I didn't feel like he he impacted too. I feel he was almost too, too um, not ambitious. What's what I'm looking for? I felt like he was just trying a little bit too hard. It's clearly two eyebrows. Don't be beating yourself. No, it's one. Trust me, mate. It's one. It's my, These are my defining feature, by the way, this eyebrow. I could shave it and trim it down, but I refuse to because I love it. Genuinely, I think this eyebrow is probably my biggest feature. Apart from my huge, enormous Mongo head, but... Darwin's about to miss tap-ins with the pig tail. Look, as I said earlier on, if you're showing up with that haircut, you best got your shooting boots on. You know, that's not a haircut of a man who can miss sitters. Uh, we have a drink for this game. No, Sabrina, no drink. I'm going to make her go shop and get a drink. Because I feel I'm letting you down here. 
One second. Here, here she comes now. Here comes the excuses, everyone. Are you ready? No drink again? The chat's gone mad here. You're getting absolutely slaughtered. I won't even say the things that they're saying about you. They're so horrible. They're just like, oh, no drink again. Does she do that? And like, what does she do? That's what they're saying. You've got still time to get to the garage or something and get something inventive. Don't stand there looking at me and stop taking off tops one after the other, love. I'm sick of this now. Do not. No. I've had time. Well, whenever. But you know what I mean? You've got your end of this bargain to hold up as well. Good. She said as soon as the $400 super chat that, that uh, Adam got comes in, she'll go. No, she's a... Uh, you're terrible. Oh, this is just our relationship, mate. Come on now. Thoughts on the LGBTQ armband? I don't have any thoughts on it other than well done. May I my thoughts on love are simple and well documented at this point, I think. Whoever you love, if you are lucky enough in this life to find love and it makes you happy and it adds to your life and it brings a smile to your face and you want to get home to see that special person and they're all that you think about oh that's all i want for any of you and that's all i want for any of my friends and my family so as i said i'm here to i'm here for love i'm here for people to be happy so that's my thoughts on it all mate if you get that special person in your life where you find somebody that makes you tick and makes you smile you go enjoy yourself you get one life you get one go around so let love win why are people scared of Arsenal away? We'll walk them. Um, I mean, it's a tricky away game for the FA Cup. Let's be honest with it. Like, let's be honest. It's it's not easy. <laughs> Going to the Emirates in the third round. I hope Kelleher puts on a master class as he clearly seems good or at least confident with his feet. Look, I'm happy. We've got Cuevin for a few games. You know, it's not ideal. Obviously, we'd all like Alison Becker. But Cuevin was good the other day, even when he had... Not a lot to do. He was switched on, stayed concentrated. So, am I confident in him? Absolutely, absolutely. Retrobate or reprobate? Excuse me. That's a bit of an old-fashioned word, mate. Reprobate. Scallywag. I'm a bit more of a scallywag than a reprobate. As Meatloaf said, I would do anything for love. Yeah, but what would he? What wouldn't he do? Do you know what I mean? It was a little bit of ass play. Is that what he was saying? He wouldn't do that. Like, I need to figure out this. Like, I know we can't ask him anymore because he sadly passed. But I wanted to know what that was. You know. Sabrina seems a fine girl. Loves the banter. Oh, she does. We're Irish, Mary. That's you know what I mean. That's what we do. Uh, we get up in the morning and think of new ways to torture each other. That's 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 the relationship. Uh, on the topic of good films, haven't seen A Bronx Tale, but it reminds me of a New Zealand classic called Once Were Warriors. Tragic family dynamics and emotional plot. Give it a whack if you haven't. I'll have a look for it, mate. Never heard of it, but I'll have a look for it. I do love a good old gangster film. And thank you so much, XX Forever, mate. Appreciate you. You said Curtis was bad against Lask, but he stank the ground up at City and everybody called him to get removed at half time. Harvey Elliott has progressed more in the year than just. So, fair enough, Tony. I'm not going to push back against what you've said, but I wasn't asked about Harvey Elliott, mate. And if you do look at what I've said about Harvey Elliott, I'm one of his biggest fans. So, I'm somebody that's always stuck up and been behind Harvey Elliott's performances. And I also don't disagree with what you've said. That over the past few months, Harvey Elliott has certainly progressed. And statistically, he's doing really well. Um, and he has to be knocking on the door for a start soon. So, again, I, I, like, I can only answer the questions I'm asked, mate. Gangster. 
it has women beaten and sexual assault. What does? So again, are you going to moan at me, Wayne, about a film I don't even know and didn't even hear about till five minutes ago? I was talking about A Bronx Tale being my favourite film. And somebody said, you should watch this film. It's about a family dynamic, blah, blah, blah. And I assumed, because I've never heard of the film, that it was something to do with uh, gang wars or gangsters or something like that. But hey-ho, you live and learn. Gives the look of your bird. No. She won't come on camera, mate. She's, uh, she's shy in that sense. But it's not hard to figure out. Like, there are pictures of Sabrina around if you if you really wanted to figure it out. Or you can come to one of the live shows. Then you'll see her because she's always there. She was at the one in Dublin. She's going to be at the one in Boston. Right, my friends. We are 24 minutes away from kickoff. But... We are also 150 subs away from 229k, so please do hit that subscribe button. Have you watched Shameless, the TV show? I've seen the English one. I've never watched the American one, but I did watch the English one, and I loved it. The writing in it was really good. Frank's character was hilarious. Uh, and it was a really good show. I watched it every single week at the time. Who's taller, you or Sabrina? Oh, mate, me. Sabrina's only five foot two. Uh, I like short women because you know I'm bang average height myself. So, yeah, she's five foot, five foot two, five foot three, somewhere around there. Listen to the girl singing at the end of the Meat Love song to tell you what you want to for love. Yeah, but what'll she do for a night out and a good steak meal? Do you know what I mean? Never mind this love. Who's Sabrina? Is that who's Sabrina? My wife, mate. My wife. Myself and Sabrina have been together 23 years. Craig, you're 645. How's that average height? I wish. God, I wish I was. I'm the only person involved in any of our content across any of our channels that isn't six foot or over. How tall am I? Five foot ten, mate. Five foot ten. Five foot ten and a half with the old Nike Air Max on, but five foot ten. What's my favourite Christmas song? Fairy Tale in New York. Of course, it's the best Christmas song. And with this year as well, with, with Shane sadly passing away this week, it's got to be number one for Christmas. Big game in the NFL today. Oh, I got you, Mike. Don't worry about that. There's a few of them. There's a few games tonight that are worth watching. And uh, that's the half past nine kickoff airtime, I think, Mike. Half past... Four kick off your time, if I'm not mistaken. How is five foot ten bang average? It's pretty much average height over here, I'd say. I'd say five nine, five ten is an average height, isn't it? I don't know. I don't I, I'm just guessing. My shoe size definitely has to be bang average because every time I go for a pair they seem to be oversized, so I'm a size ten shoe. That has to be about average. Do I rate Elliot? Yes, I do. Now, I rate him, but I still don't know where his best position is. Um, I don't know if and when he can pin down a regular starting spot in the team. But yes, I do rate him. Yes, he is progressing. But I don't get how some people have a real anti-him agenda. I don't get it. El Nino or Prime Suarez? Oh, Pistolero, mate. El Pistolero all the way. Craig, playing on Sundays become the norm. Going to be weird next season when we go back to Saturday games. Yeah, but weird in a good way. I, I don't like this Thursday, Sunday stuff, mate. It's uh, it's not great because you always end up getting the shitty 2 p.m. slots. Although next Saturday against Palace, we've got the half past 12 slot again. Do I think Allison is the best goalkeeper? Absolutely, yes. 100%. Will you be live in top of the league after this match? Yes, Stephen. I'm going to do a match reaction. That'll take me up to about 25 past four. Then I'll jump across the top of the league. Adam will be kicking off the stream at four o'clock. So, so I can hear the door close there. I think Sabrina's gone to get that drink. See? See what you've bullied her now. You've all bullied her into going to get the drink. Shame on you. Are we not playing in the week? We are. We're playing Sheffield United on Wednesday, mate. I was just letting you know about another early kickoff. But yes, we've got Sheffield United on Wednesday. 
Uh, I think that's the Amazon Prime games, if I'm not mistaken, in the UK. Uh, opinions on Tyree Kill. My opinions on Tyree Kill are that I can't believe that they were stupid enough to let him leave the Chiefs. And uh, he's always good for a touchdown and some yardage when he's playing with uh, Tua. So I like Tyree Kill. He's pretty damn good. He's fun to watch. And uh, I've not seen many human beings sprint as quickly as that man can move. Will I ever play Fortnite? I sincerely doubt it, Mikey. I doubt it. My son plays it every day, but no, not for me. Is Christmas your favourite holiday? No, it's my least favourite holiday. I'm not a fan of Christmas, mate. Unfortunately, personal circumstances. Um, so, my dad died on the 30th of December. My mum was in a coma after a suicide attempt during Christmas. My grandmother passed away around Christmas. My uncle had a tragic accident at Christmas and passed away. I wrote a car off for Christmas time. I don't like Christmas time, mate. It's not my favourite season of the year. Um, but, you know, it's for the kids really, isn't it? So, you uh, you make it special for the kids. But other than that, I think I'd go on holiday at Christmas time if I could. Uh, isn't it weird that there are young English midfielders randomly popping up between the ages of 17 and 20? I don't think it's weird. I think clubs have just been bringing through some good players to their academies. What channel is the game on? I'm watching it, Ryan, on uh, zone a Spanish zone account. It isn't on TV in the UK, unfortunately, pal. Uh, opinions on Chimicus. I think... All right, Polar Bear. I thought you. I thought I'd heard the door already. No. No. All right. Ah, <laughs> look at this picture. Can I bring this on screen, Connor? I'm gonna have to bring this on screen. There he is, Craigie Darwin. Darwin's hair is like that today. Oh. I... There you go. What is up, my friends? You're all very welcome along to Craig's Ponytail Adventures. Whoop, whoop. Sometimes I'm a five-year-old. Sometimes. Most of the time. There we go. Yes, we've said goodbye three times now, man. Bye-bye. Ave Maria. Uh, have I ever been to Liverpool Stadium tour? Uh, yeah, but it was a while ago. I haven't been since they've done the new main stand to a stadium tour anyway. Thursday Adams is crazy. That's, I'm telling you what. Do you know what? Weirdly, that kind of looks like my daughter a little bit. Except less, like she's not as fat as me. She's not fat at all. Like, but yeah. Da -da -ba. Right, we are fifteen minutes away from kickoff. Imagine Keller her getting injured. Well, I can fly over. Worst case scenario, if they need me, you know, if Queen gets injured, old Craigo can rock up. Do you know we're playing Arsenal the FA Cup? Yeah, we went through that earlier on, mate. It's uh, it's a difficult task away against Arsenal, but sure, we'll give it a bash. Cheers for the new profile pic. That's all right. If there's one thing surely you know about me now, guys, it's that I, I don't do embarrassed. I don't I don't have that feeling. Uh, it's one of the things that has come back to haunt my wife on many occasions is I don't do the whole embarrassed stuff. So these things are fine for me. Do I ever listen to any Pink Floyd? Uh, wish you were here. That's probably... That's Pink Floyd, right? Or is it? Is that Pink Floyd? Or is that somebody else? Uh, I have some Pink Floyd stuff on Spotify playlists. The, Can you hear me calling out your name? You know that I've fallen and I don't know what to say. Yeah, that one. Uh, start bench sell Bale Robin Salah start Salah bench Robin sell Bale <laughs> you 
You always get Fleetwood Mac mixed up. I always get Fleetwood Macs mi mixed up. Always get them mixed up. Always. No singing, please. Fuck you. I I'm absolutely not promising no singing. Not happening. If if the game's going well, the singing's coming out, mate. So uh, best get used. And I have a raspy, horribly sore throat today, so it's going to be even extra bad. Do I have any Liverpool related tattoos? Uh, yes, I do. I've got one on my leg. Big fan from Dublin. Cordoff Road. Or Cordoff, you said, sorry. Ruben Diaz or BVD? Um, I'm taking VVD now, but like Ruben Diaz has been very good. Been very good this season. Uh, Cordoff, nice one in, mate. Hope you're well. MG said he's breaking himself with the prospect of United facing us. Oh, MG. I was wondering who the fuck that was for a second. Because their away record is so muck. I, I, look, thank you, Ryan, for the super chat. But I don't really care what um, Mr. Fake Fake has to say about uh, playing us. I don't really care about anything he has to say either. It's nice of him, though, to do his talking with words this time and not letters. But here we go. How many tattoos do I have? I don't know the answer to it. Because, you know, when you've got sleeves and stuff, how, how do you count it? Third leg. Not me, Derek. No, unfortunately, mate. Chicken wing. Worcester's in the house, Tom. The saucy people, as he says. I love, I love hearing Americans trying to pronounce Worcester. That, that always makes me funny. Makes me funny. Makes me laugh. Me word no speaky. <laughs> Egypt in the house. Mohammed Hussein, how are we, sir? Hope you're well. Favourite tattoo? Uh, don't really have one. I guess I've got my ch the times my children were born tattooed on my wrist, so maybe that. Favourite pizza topping? Oh, Mike, I'm so boring, mate. When it comes to pizza, or is it Mickey? Sorry. I'm a margarita person, so... Like, I will have ham on a pizza, but that's about it. So, margarita. I always think of it this way. If you can get a good margarita pizza from a pizza place, that's a sign that pizza place knows what they're at. Like, if they can get the basic, beautiful margarita right, then that's good. So, that's the answer for me, margarita. Craig's been on the cough medicine. No, not quite. Not quite, mate. It's too. That's too. Uh, that's too life for me. The cough medicine. No, that's that's amateur hour stuff. Pineapple on a pizza. Not for me. Like I'm not against pineapple on a pizza. If you want to ruin your pizza with a bit of pineapple, that's up to you. Favorite type of pizza. Deep pan. Oh, I was only thinking about this the other night. Actually, there's nowhere around where I live that I can get a good deep pan pizza. So, yeah, I miss, I miss that because whenever I'm over in the UK, if I get a pizza, I get Pizza Hut and I usually get a deep pan. And I miss deep pan pizzas, man. I love them. Do I regret any tattoos? Oh, God, yeah, 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 100%. Um, so, these sleeves that I have, at least four tattoos are cover-ups. Like, so, yeah, yeah, I've definitely got some shit tattoos before that I've had to get covered up that I've regretted 100%. Deep pan pizza is the only way to go when ordering. Oh, so good, George. And I can't have it over here, mate, because nowhere does a deep pan. So, um, yeah. Detroit pizza is quite nice. Is Detroit pizza the one where the sauce is on top of the cheese? Is that the one where they do the circular swirl of the sauce? I've had that before, and it was really nice. You could get the sweetness of the sauce really coming through. Ever get any X's name? Well, I don't have any exes, Jay. I'm with my wife since I'm 19. So, no. I didn't get my first tattoo till I was 21. So, uh, I was two years together with Sabrina at that point. So, no. Nope. And to be fair, I wouldn't even put her name on me. When you go to Boston, Craig, we'll be seeing cheeky little food review. Oh, I've already I've already challenged Brian, LFC USA. Um, because he's a New Yorker. And he lives in Boston, but he's he's bragged about the pizza game. And I said, mate, 
I'm judging you on this now. When we go for pizza, you best blow my socks off because I'm coming to Boston to eat. You best believe that. I don't think I'm going to take too much convincing of you, though. Let's be honest. Craig says he's going somewhere to eat. You're hardly going to go. Doubt that, Craig. Do you know what I mean? Look at you. You don't look like a man who eats. Uh, Tom Judge, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, my friend. We are now 10 minutes, just 10 minutes away from kickoff. Liverpool against Fulham. We'll uh, run through the starting 11s one more time for you guys before we get on their way. Where are we? Which one are they putting it in? There we go. So, Liverpool, we look like this. Kelleher in goal, Trent at right back, Tsimikas at left back, Virgil van Dijk and Joel Matip at centre back. Midfield, it's Alexis McAllister, Dominic Soboslai and Ryan Gravenberg. Up top, Mohamed Salah, Lucho Diaz and Darwin Nunes. For Fulham, it's Leno, Tete, Reem, Bassi, Robinson, Reid, Polina, Iwobi, Andreas, Wilson and Raul. Well, Andreas Pereira, I should say. Uh, quick question what's your favourite joke that always cracks you up don't know I have a favourite joke mate um, no don't have one am I watching a City game yeah we're jumping on a watch along of a Taylor after the match reaction uh, so we'll do this match reaction then I'll join Adam on top of the league our other channel by the way top of the league is just about 50 subscribers away from hitting 22,000. So if you can, please do scan that QR code in the corner or get yourselves over the top of the league and hit that subscribe button. Craig, lamb or beef? Well, I love lamb. Lamb's probably my favourite meat, so I'd probably agree with you on lamb. What's green and smells of pork? Do we want to know the answer to this one, mate? <laughs> Sorry, there's some funny jokes in the chat here. Fair play. I'm not reading them out, but well done. Uh, I had a super chat missed. Did I? One second. Yes, I did. You're right. DCP said, I had a deep pan pizza last night. 100% the best kind. There's no pizza hut over there, mate. Also, what's the match prediction for today? <coughs> So there's no Pizza Hut where I live. There used to be, uh, and it closed. So there's no Pizza Hut anywhere near me. But yes, I agree. Deep hand away to go, DCP. And thank you, mate, for your super chat. You're very kind. And I hope you enjoyed your pizza last night. Here he is. See, we talk about pizza and Brian appears gifting 20 Anfield Agenda memberships. You're very kind, Brian. We've just been talking about your, uh, your promise of a big pizza game when I come over to Boston. Uh, I love a deep hand. So thank you, Brian, for that. And uh, again, I'm sure everybody who received those are very much appreciative. Uh, rice and chicken is unbeatable. I'd agree with that as well. I love rice and any meat, to be fair. You can't go around with a bit of rice and meat. So all good for me. Uh, Arian said, what's in the game last night? We're going to absolutely hammer Man United in the 17th. If Newcastle can get 20 shots on them, we're getting 30. Yeah, that's going to be a fun watch along. Fair play to Adam for agreeing to come on with me. Actually, just confirmation for you guys as well. Um, we did reach out to Leo and he is good to go. So myself and Leo's goals will be doing a joint watch along together on Anfield Agenda for the League Cup game against West Ham on the 20th of December. So you can pencil that one in. It's uh, all systems go for that one. Myself and Leo's goals for the West Ham game, 20th of December, right here. So we told you we'd follow up and make sure it happened. And thank you to Leo and Leo's goals as well. Great YouTube channel. Do check it out. Who's the ref? If my memory's right, it's Atwell with Tierney on VAR. Bear with me till I just triple check that, but that's my my recollection of it. Uh, where are we? So much crap.
Yeah. So they have a feed on live score of the latest tweets and stuff. I'm looking, I see Sky Sports News, the Echo, and then I see Red Men TV flogging their Christmas jumpers. <laughs> Fair play. I think, if my memory's right, I think Tierney's on VAR and it's out well, but I could be I can't find the answer. You're correct, there we go. Boom. So there we are. At well on refereeing Judy and Stu or Paul Tierney in VAR. Will Adam be watching the United game with you on here on top of the league? Oh on here, I Aaron. Mean, it would make no sense to take the United game off the bigger channel for that one. So no no, the me with Adam will be on Anfield Agenda. The first time we've ever brought an opposition fan onto the channel in five and a half years. So, yeah, it'll be me and Adam for uh, for the United game. And myself and Leo's goals will be doing a joint watch along for the West Ham game. I can't send super chats. Uh, that that's, must be at your end, King Kenny, mate. I've definitely not switched off at our end because we've kindly received a few today already. So, I don't know what that's about, sir. Right, teams are in the tunnel, and we are about four minutes away from kickoff. So, don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We're very close to 229,000. I hope with this shout-out we can get over the line and start to chase down to 230. So, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, there was he cut his hair. Well, he did something to it. Do I think United you know, can make it out of the group? No, I don't. No, not after the. They had to get a win in Galatasaray for me. It take what's it gonna take them to beat Bayern and a draw in the other game for them to go through, right? It's not out of the realm of possibility, but I wouldn't be putting money on it. Is it on TV? Not in the UK or Ireland. No, not in the UK or Ireland. So you're gonna have to get creative. And I said, if you are gonna try out Surfshark, don't forget to use the Anfield Agenda discount code, which is Anfield Agenda, all one word, and that way you will get Surfshark for just over two euro a month and. Uh, up to six months additional free. It's amazing how far you've come. Boston time. Oh, I can't wait, Danny. I'm so excited that we're going over to Boston for a show. Um, I'm also really nervous because I've no idea what to expect. Whether we'll sell one ticket, a hundred tickets, or how it'll go. But sure, you challenge yourself in life, don't you? So very much looking forward to a 22nd of March and feel agenda in Boston. Who thought we'd be saying that? Brian said, "Can we please start fast and get an early goal?" Uh, yes, please, Brian. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no, mate. It's on Peacock in the United States. Thank you for that. A couple of people have mentioned that. Goody, one of them in the chat. Thoughts on Van Dyke as captain? I think he's done a good job. To be fair, I think he's done a good job. He's introduced the huddle before the game, and um, he seems to be organising things well. So yeah, no problem with that. Well done to Trent as well for uh, stepping up. What's your prediction? Mine is 3-1. Uh, I think that's exactly what I went with, with the blade. Thank you for your super chat, mate. I think, I think like your good self, I went with 3-1. Is John W. Henry invited? Well, funnily enough, the live show is right across the road from Fenway Park. Like, literally, from what I can understand, you, you could nearly spit at it. It's that close. Not, not that you'd want to, of course, but... Yeah, so, of course John's invited. I'm going to be looking for John when I'm over there to see if I can say a quick hello. You know, maybe John will bring me in, cup of tea, scone, little chat about the season. It'd be, you know, it'd be the right move. How am I watching the game? Spanish The Zone account. I, think, I say it to you guys all the time. It's a lifesaver for us because... Look, I hate using illegal streams. I don't like them. It's not my cup of tea. I feel like if we can pay for something and with the ability to do it, we should pay for it. So that's why we pay for a Spanish The Zone account for days like this when it isn't on TV in the UK or Ireland. Steal his wallet while you're there. I don't know if I can because, you know, you only get so much baggage allowance, so much weight allowance to go back on the plane. I'd imagine John's wallet's rather heavy. No Cody. No, he's on the bench today, mate. But look, this is the 11 that I predicted, to be fair. If you look at my preview, this is the 11 I told you guys we're most likely going to see. Super Sport in Africa for the game. David, thank you very much. 
So, Mohamed Salah, 11 more goals before he leapfrogs Billy Little in the Liverpool scoring charts. Let's have a look at that one. He really is zooming in, isn't he, Mo? 11 more to go. He's on 199 at the minute. One more goal to get 200 up for Liverpool. Fulham will be kicking us off. Playing from left to right. Liverpool attacking the Annie Road end in the first half. Referee is just about to get us underway. Sit back, relax, and most importantly, remember to hit that subscribe button, my friends. I'll take you right through the game with a post-match show coming up as well. Right. Away we go. We are underway. Fulham do the decent thing and launch the ball out long left-hand side where it's met by Joel Matip who just about gets the ball back to Cuevin Kelleher who keeps it in play to stop it. an early silly corner. Right, here we go. Van Dijk to Matip. Just confirmation, referee is Stuart Atwell. Hopefully we get off to a quick start, as Brian said earlier on. Be nice to get an early goal. Space now for Salah. Lovely ball in behind that for Soboslai, but the flag goes up against him. First offside of the game, free kick Fulham. Oh, look, even when they come in to try and big up their own club, that's all you've got, Paul, is it? Chelsea, Chelsea. Come on, ball. Be original, mate. We need a bit more than that. Trent. Darwin. Revert. He's pink boots as well. He's got pink boots and that barnet. It will be now for Fulham. Early ball across. Kelleher gets down, saves it. Pink boots and that haircut. He's not making it easy. Verge. Trent. Alexis. Gravenberg. So are we comfortable that's our best midfield at the minute? McAllister, Gravenberg. Soboslai, I must stop this poll actually where we asked you for the victory 94% that we said Liverpool. Darwin. Man on, man on, right, man on. Oh, Lucho! Ooh, good save. First strike of the game on target from Lucho, just edge of the penalty area, but Leno gets down and makes a fairly comfortable save. But, bright alert, good start. Well done, Lucho. Singapore, how are we, Lee? Welcome in, my friend. Hope you're well. All the way over in Singapore. Kelleher, man on. Ball into Soboslai. He goes across the verge. Back to Joel Matip. Come on now. We must be very close to 229k. Folks, do hit that subscribe button. Timer off. No, it's not. Timer's absolutely spot on, mate. It's exactly in line with my TV. So, <laughs> I don't know what you're on about, Ibrahim. You do know I'm not in your house, right? Like, my timer isn't aligned with your, your, uh, your watching of the game, buddy. But we can sort that out for you. I will sync now. About to get to 3 minutes... 3 minutes 30. 31. 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Verge, the Costas. Nothing on there, so he goes back to Verge. Diagonal ball out looking for Mo. Nothing comes there, throw in. That is a, that's, that's a haircut.
Oh, well done keeping that in. Diaz back to Costas. No, they didn't keep it in actually. Eventually the flag goes up for a throw in. We're 40 seconds apart. It's um it's sky glass. That's the thing, like. Um but today it's not. Today it's the zone, so I can't blame Sky and the streaming server, but usually it's the sky glass that's the delay. Hello from Cork. How are we? Hopefully we rip Fulham a new one. Yes, sir. Hopefully Devoid Dude. And thank you very much, mate, for the super chat. Go on, Darwin. It's cleared Liverpool throw in down with a corner flag. That is... I'm sorry, I can't get with that haircut. I just can't get with it. And the OCD part of me feels like those two pigtails need to be tied together like a shoelace. Because that's re that's what's freaking me out the most about Darwin's hair. Referee playing an advantage here to Liverpool. Costas with a cross. He's tackled again, blocked. Throw in Liverpool down with a corner flag. Trent. You know by the time most of you write fake score in the chat, it's been gone about 15 seconds, right? That fake score was booted really quickly. And then there's still about eight comments about it afterwards. Gravenberg. Verge. Six minutes on the clock. Gravenberg again. Ball upfield. Into Diaz. He spins into the left channel. Gives it to Costas. Keep it in. Well done. Darwin. Gravenberg. Back to Darwin. Nothing on. So he tries across Darwin. It's ricocheted. Van Dijk gets there. Wins the second ball as well. Be a Fulham throw in. Sly goes in the house. Marky, how are we? Uh, it's Stuart Atwell, Steve. That's the referee today, mate. Stuart Atwell. With our friend Paul Tierney on VAR. Okay, the ball's in the net, but the flag's gone up for offside. So there was a strike that was saved, parried by Leno. Drops down, Liverpool put the ball in the net, but the offside flag's up from the original shot. But uh, that's poor goalkeeping. Let's have a look at it from this angle. I mean, they did look off. Yeah. Diaz offside. Good show from the linesman. Was offside. Diaz was off on the initial shot. And uh, Leno's getting a bit of treatment on the floor by the medical team. I think from the collision. Oh, here we go. Here's the drink. What we got? Just one now. I'm going to go with this one. Stop. I'm going to go with that one. This one here. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> so, K100. Why do you keep getting me green ones, by the way? Just so they can't show up on the screen. Thanks. We're going for K100 today. It's, uh, again, in Polish, so I've no idea what it is. Carrot. Carrot. Carrot juice. I'm going for carrot juice today, apparently. Your other options were kiwi. You know we're in the middle of a game, right? Yeah. Well, they can keep them in the fridge for the next games. Still getting treatment for Leno, by the way, so there's nothing happening in the game. 
We give this a bash now then, seeing as Leno's getting... Oh, you're a horrible woman. Carrot juice. Carrot juice. My eyesight's going to be good anyway. I'd like me to ask you something. No, I got it. Here we go. <sighs> Carrot juice. Wish me well. That's not the face I wanted. No, that looks like it's kind of enjoyable. I've bought the wrong drink now. It's weird. It doesn't really taste of much. It's not bad. But I don't know. Yeah, it's not bad. So it's like peach and carrot juice. <coughs> Goalkeeper's still down, by the way. Thank you for that. And everyone in the chat says thank you as well. Carrot juice. It's not bad. Turn off the lights. I don't need it anymore. I can see everything now. I'm going to fuck like a bunny. <laughs> A lot is wrong with me. Okay, no. Bye. What next, Craig? Broccoli juice? No. She, there's lines like. Leno's still getting treatment here, by the way, folks. We've had, this has been a good two, three minutes now. He's still down getting treatment, Leno. That's criminal behavior from Sabrina. It's, you know what though? Like, the I know you can't see because it's green, but it's like K100, it's called. Um, Brosh Vinia. Carrot and peach. It's, yeah, apple, carrot and peach. Oh, there's English on the back of it. Juice from the fruit and carrot partially from concentrate with added vitamin C. So there we go. Carrot juice with apple and peach. Still no action in the game, by the way. Shouldn't he be off the pitch? No, he's the goalkeeper, mate. You can't drag the goalkeeper off the pitch and leave nobody in the net. Bournemouth 1-0 up against Villa. I've seen a couple of people put that down in the chat, actually. Wow. That's a, a good start for Bournemouth. Leno is sitting upright anyway, which is a good sign. He has a cut on his head by the looks of it. He's gone full um, Terry Butcher. There's no way he should be staying on, lads. If I'm, doesn't, if I, I don't know how Fulham are leaving him on with where that is. So I'm I'm gonna say if I was just Liverpool now, I'd be putting everything in right on top of Leno. You gotta uh, you gotta put the pressure on them. So I know it's it's good Leno's up and he, he's well, but if I'm Liverpool now, I'm putting balls straight in on top of him, corners, free kicks, anything. Right, we're going to be back on the way now, finally, after about five minutes. Thankfully, Leno is good to go. And the goal kick, or the offside free kick, as I should say, is taken. Uh, West Ham 1-0 up in their game. Kudos with that goal, according to the chat. So what happened to Leno? So there was a strike from distance. Leno palmed it down. Then there was a challenge between him and I think it was Lucho. And obviously, in that somewhere, he got a nick to just above his eye. And... Um, 
he would need a little bit of treatment, but we're back on the way. Free kick Liverpool here fell from Polina on Soboslai. Free kick to Liverpool just in the centre circle in our own half. Again, do hit that subscribe button, folks. Let's let's get this chat moving. Where are we at now? Oh, we're closing in. 130 to go or so. Verge. 4,000 people in the live chat. You're all very welcome with us. So just con confirmation, that goal was ruled out, by the way, for offside. And correctly so. He was about half a yard off. Verge, the Costas, again, nothing back. You should be expecting five or six minutes here at the end of the first half anyway in stoppage time. Why did we leave Twitch? Uh, money is the answer. You know, that's the, the honest, God's honest answer, money. We had a deal with Twitch for a year and um, it expired. And, you know, when we weighed it all up, the better decision was to come back to YouTube. Gravenberg, Schimakis, Darwin, Soboslai, McAllister. Oh, go on, Trent, challenge, no. Goes to Leno. Who was offside? It was uh, it was Lucho by half a yard. Australia's in the house. Kevin Horgan, how are we, sir? Kunis Atothu, Makara. Salah, ball in again, cleared by Fulham. Harry Wilson brought down there. Referee brings back play for a Fulham free kick. He was initially trying to play on, but I think he thought Wilson. Yeah, ref thought Wilson got this in the. He did get it in the face. In fairness to the ref, he waved on the medical. Team from Fulham straight away, but now Harry Wilson's pissed off because he has to go off the pitch for 30 seconds. Do you think Fulham should have had a penalty against Wolves? The second one, Robbie, I think was a penalty. The foul on Harry Wilson. Um, the first one, the Samedo challenge. That's never a penalty. It's not never. I, I I'll never get that one, pal. That was that was a clearly one ball from Samedo. But the second one, I thought yes. Ooh, Chelsea one nil up. Against Brighton, Enzo Fernandez, according to the chat with that goal. I love hearing you speak Irish, Mahon Far. Uh, thank you, Jason. I don't know much though, mate, I'll be honest with you. Sky Sports have four or five channels and they choose stream West Ham. Yeah, but there's a reason for these things. Sometimes it's because what would have initially been put down as a 3 p.m. game and then gets moved to a Sunday game because of the Europa League. That's why you get the 2 p.m. games that aren't televised. Uh, I don't know if West Ham's game was initially scheduled for a 3 p.m. Saturday or, or was always on the Sunday, but that's partly the reason why. Sobus line out. Cuts back inside. He's brought down. Free kick. Mm, 25 yards out. Right hand side. Uh, he'd favour a left footer from here. But Trent could certainly get the bend. Needed. Salah be fancy in this as well. I mean Polina again. That's twice now Polina has been fouled. Twice he's fouled people. You know we can't be too far away from a bucket at this point. Really, really would love to try and hit 230,000 subs as, as fast as we can, guys. So, again, please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Remember, any fake scores or anything like that will be banned in the chat. No second chances, just bans. Let's have a look. Trent over it. Oh! Okay. 
What have I just witnessed? Trent, top bins. Didn't even put any effort. Just stepped up. Bang. Top in. Uh, Biggie, I've unblocked your... Oh my god, lads. Uh, what the... F what have I seen? Oh, I'll talk you through it. He steps up, right? Weird angle. Oh! Look at this. That is filth. That is... a uh, Stop it, Trent. Stop it. They have children. That was... Oh my god. Oh, lads. I'm gonna watch it again. Oh! Ooh, that does things to me. Oh my god. What a strike from Trent. Top bins. Newlong, get out there for a little bit of a celebration, sir. We have a breakthrough. Liverpool leading by a goal to nil. Trent Alexander-Arnold, vice-captain with a world-class free kick. I mean, we've seen last night in the United game, Trippier hit the crossbar. Well, Trent just dipped it under. What a goal. Oh my days. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, and again, just to that person in the chat who was the first person to say goal and your your account was blocked by, by one of our mods, I unblocked it straight away, mate. Just, just again. Give, give it a chance, mods, before we ban people. Give it a good 30, 40 seconds to make sure because, you know, let's be fair to the people who are a bit ahead of us. Oh, my God. You, when you see this free kick, you will understand why I was in, in shock. It was phenomenal. I didn't think with the run-up and the angle he was standing at that he was going to be able to do that. 2-1 Aston Villa now. Uh, Biggie, I did believe you, mate, which is why I unbanned the account. Oh, my days. What a free kick. Well, we got our early goal, and it came via the right boot of our vice-captain. Goals everywhere today, by the way, with the looks of it. Early goals all around the Prem. I'll give you an update now. Nearly 5,000 people in the chat as well, folks. Do hit that subscribe button. My voice is gone. Absolutely gone, but I don't care. It is Bournemouth 1, Aston Villa 2 in that game. Uh, Semenyo with the opening goal. Then Leon Bailey and Diego Carlos for the goals for Aston Villa. It is Chelsea 2, Brighton 0. Levi Colwill and Enzo Fernandez with those goals. It is West Ham 1, Crystal Palace 0 with uh, Mohamed Kudus with that goal as well. So we've got goals in the Prem already today. What is Operation Anfield exercise? It's for the it's for the uh, the stewards, mate. So wow, that oh, I, wow! I'm still in awe of that free kick, by the way. Because when he walked up to it at the angle Trent was standing at, I thought to myself, "There's no way, there's no way, there's no way he's getting the power." From that, but oh my days. Oh, wow. What a player. It's the old boots. Got to be the old Adidas boots, right? Trent always needed, uh, he needed to just change to those Adidas boots. That, that was all that was wrong. Right, Lucho, left side, down the line to Trent, or to Verge, sorry. What's Verge doing up there? Get back, you. Gravenberg, ball in, looking for Darwin. It's a little bit behind him. It's cleared by Ream. Trent's back there, mopping up. So as Matip goes all the way back to Kelleher. Iwobi for Fulham. Left side of the penalty area. Cross in. 1-1. Oh, Harry Wilson, 1-1. One, one. Oh, I, I said all week Wilson worried me. And it's too easy. It's too easy. It's a ball across the front of the six-yard box. Wilson gambled first. Shocking. 
That's just too easy, lads. One one. Again. So it's a ball that was intercepted. A misplaced pass to Mohamed Salah. We turn over possession. Fulham working into the left channel. It will be plays it out. Then the cross comes in. And he just gets in between McAllister and Trent. Gets there ahead of both of them. And just stabs it past Kelleher. Through his legs as well. <coughs> What's Kelleher at? Seriously? You do know a keeper has to stand, right? And his legs are open when he stands. I don't understand how that's somehow Kelleher's fault. Again, you're looking at more than a Kelleher. Here's the truth. Look at who gave the ball away. So if you want to have a pop at Kelleher, fair enough. But look at how it started. It was a misplaced pass. I can't remember who it was from. To Mohamed Salah that gave over possession. And then we were caught in the back foot. Fulham countered. And we conceded an easy goal. So again, no problem with people having a pop at Kelleher. But let's keep some energy for the person who gave the ball away. I think it might have been Matip with the pass. I get granted, if you think Kelleher could have done better, no problem. But let's not wash uh, wash away the fact that we gave away possession. How do we give it away? Matip tried to pass into Salah that was intercepted and then Fulham countered. Come on, boys. I knew... I just had a feeling all week that Harry Wilson was going to come back to haunt us in this game. He was going to get a goal. But we need to focus now. It will be. Go on, McAllister. A little turn of pace there from Alexis. Again, I get everyone saying Allison saving that. But if Joe Matip didn't give the fucking ball away, we wouldn't have been countered. So again, let's look at what caused the goal. You can talk about Kelleher should have saved it. Okay. But if we hadn't given the ball away, yet again, we wouldn't have conceded. And that's happened us time and time and time again under Jurgen. We give the ball away and teams counter us from it and we concede. It happens so often. We're, uh, uh, you've heard me say before... We're our own worst enemies at times in possession. But uh, we should have uh, we should have defended it better, definitely. And how nobody tracked the run coming in from, uh, from Wilson, I don't know. That's the job for the keeper. So having played as a goalkeeper, you're always vulnerable through the legs when you've got your legs like that and you get a flick. So... Again, you can say Kelleher should have done better, and I'm not going to deny it, but again, it comes from us in possession, giving the ball away. What are you talking about, Michael? You fucking weirdo. Why is the watch along 37 minutes behind the live match that kicked off at 2 o'clock and is now 28 minutes on, Michael? I don't know what warped ass world you're living in, dude, but very much on point here, you absolute twat. Oh, Matthew Petter over the bar. Imagine not knowing what time the game kicked off at and trying to come in troll people over it. Scarlet for you, Michael. People crying about fake scores. Yes, mate, because it's a shithouse thing to do. Because some people can't watch the game and they're relying on me and other people to keep them up to date with it. And people coming with fake scores and they get banned. It's as uh, simple as that. We don't have any tolerance for it and why should we? Trent 
strength and possession now. Almost 30 minutes on the clock. Remember, we will have a good five, six minutes injury time at the end of the first half because of the injury to uh, the Fulham keeper, Leno. But we are back to square one. Trent pins a diag, unlucky. Fulham do well, defend it, head it back to Leno. Top of the morning to you. J Dub mate, how are we? Lucho to Costas. Go on, Costas. Second chance here. Go on. Cross deep looking for Mo. It's headed by the full and player Mo. Yeah. Oh no. Go on, Mo. Go on. Head up. No Mo wrong ball. Pulls it to the edge of the box and it's cleared by Fulham. Darwin goes down. I mean, I don't think you're going to get that in there, fella. Grim Jimbo, how are we, pal? Was Trent's goal good? Oh, Sean, it was an epic free kick, mate. Unbelievable strike. Wait and you see it later on, mate. You won't be disappointed, honestly. It was a phenomenal strike. I mean, Darwin, get up, mate. Get up. Jesus Christ. That haircut, lads. I still want to just tie that hair together like a, a shoelace. Come on, Verge. Come on. Gavin Burke under a bit of pressure here. Still Gavin Burke in possession. Well done. Wins the throw in. Well done, Ryan. 31 and a half minutes on the clock. Liverpool won. Fulham won. Uh, Trent's goal for Liverpool. A free kick. A wonderful free kick. Fulham's equaliser came from Harry Wilson after. Liverpool gave the ball away and then didn't defend well. And uh, we conceded an equaliser. And all too easy for the away side. Friends, if you are new to the chat, please do hit that subscribe button. Come on, boys. Jesus, Darwin throws a crossfield pass, gives it away in Fulham counter again. Strike, deflection. Jesus, goes wide, thankfully. Uh oh, look again. Again, folks. How many times do I say it? We're in possession. We gift the ball away with a stupid pass. Fulham counter-attack. They shoot. It deflects off Matip. And thankfully, it goes the other side of the post for a corner. Could have very easily been 2-1 down. Again, in possession, giving it away. It's just not great. Corner in. Well done, Joel. Matip cleared. Come on, get out, boys. Get out. Right. Fulham pump a ball forward to Kelleher. Kelleher throws it out left side to Trent. Trent cuts infield now. Keeps possession. Go on, Trent. Go on. Sob a slide back to Trent. Trent with a left foot. Deflection. Corner to Liverpool. Well done, boys. Good counter-attack there from Trent. Little 1-2 with Sobosly. Gets a strike away on his left foot this time. Fulham defender gets a block in and it goes for a Liverpool corner. It came off Tim Ream, actually. Right, boys, come on. Come on! I don't like this angle Costas is shaping up to take this corner from. Don't like this angle one bit. It's a good corner, though. Blocked, verge, blocked again. Oh, come on, boys. Jeez, then Costas, I don't know what he was doing, but he boots it behind for a goal kick. Weak cross there from Costas. Uh, uh, weeks and I'm being kind by saying weak. Come on, boys. Some half-hearted appeals for a penalty there, but the player was falling down, so. It's 
There was some half-hearted appeal for a penalty, but it was never a penalty. Look at this space again, Iwobi. Get across to him, boys. Well done, McAllister heads it away to Sobosloy. Again, nothing there for Mo. Come on, boys. Come on. Trent in possession. Space to the right. Oh, that's a good ball in behind. Oh, so unlucky. You could see what Darren was trying to do, which was reverse the ball. How, what's the ref done here? Oh, the offside flag's up. Is that another offside against Darwin, by the way? Yeah, again with his lazy fucking running. Darwin never arcs his run right. He's always a yard or two off. And he ran back to try and arc his run, but he still didn't go far enough. Come on, boys. Here we go. Space now. Come on. Jesus Christ. Even that ball Darren was trying to play to Salah, he overhit it. Even if it had gone past the full and play, it was over here. Come on, boys. Wakey, wakey. It's icy in the north today, Makara. It's uh, pretty cold here as well, Chris. Uh, Bunner, 53. Welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, buddy. You're very kind. Come on, step up. Polina in possession. Come on, boys, press. Throw in to Fulham on the far side. Just a reminder, today's delicious drink was a K100 peach, apple and carrot juice today. That was today's review drink. Not too bad, you know. I have a lot of time for these Polish shop drinks. They're uh, they're good value and they're not they're not too shabby flavor wise. I'm gonna have another little taste of this one. It wasn't bad, you know. Carrot juice. There you go. Far superior than broccoli. Oh my god! Ninety three likes away from one k. Can we do that before half time? My god, please do. Don't think we've ever done a thousand likes before half time. Darwin, he's brought down. So we've two goals for half time. Try and get 229k and try and get a thousand likes. So if you haven't, please like and hit that sub button. Right. I hate broccoli. So do I, mate. Very much so. Salah. Go on, Mo. Ding to the far post. Gravenberg. Ball goes out. <coughs> Excuse me. 1k likes, well in, well in. 1k likes, now all we need to do is get to 229 and we're good to go. Throw in, Costas. To Lucho, go on Lucho, unlucky, it's cleared. Got it back though, McAllister. Oh, oh my days, Alexis McAllister with an absolute thunder cunt of a strike. Oh my God. We are World EFC today. Alexis McAllister, all at 25, 30 yards, on the half volley, rocket into the top corner. I'm going to say it again. Rocket into the top corner, and Liverpool have the lead back. Oh, my God. Return of the Mac, my friend. Return of the Mac. What a strike. You knew that he'd be back. Oh, my God. What a strike. Look at this. Baboom. Babushka. Oh, my days. He puts the laces through that, doesn't he? Oh. It's got that fade on it to take it away from the keeper and everything. Oh, my God. Here's the view from behind the goal. Great angle, this. He hits it. Oh, so good. Oh, that nourishes the soul. Jurgen Klopp puts two fists up in celebration. And Liverpool are 2-1 to the good. Two, we peppered that top corner in the first half, folks. That is... That's better than Trent. 
And I didn't think I'd be saying that in this game, but oh my days. That is amazing. Alexis McAllister, so happy for you, dude. So the ball dropped to him about 30, 25, 30 yards out. And he just shapes up straight away. You know what he's trying to do. And he unleashes a half volley that just flies past Leno right into the top bins, never saving it. The keeper goes with his right hand across to try and get a touch on it. He's just not getting near it. It was just way too good, way too through, way too sexy. Lads, come on now. Come on. <coughs> my voice is gone. It's taken a battering after those two goals, but oh my days. Oof. That was... Ooh. Honestly, I'm so happy for him. So happy for Alexis. Uh, Maka goal or Sobislai goal, which is fire. So Queen Nadra, thank you so much for the super chat, Queen Nadra. I hope you're well. Uh, hoping between yourselves and us, Arsenal, we can block City for making the league, the Bundesliga. I hope so, Alexander. I'd have far more respect for you guys within the league title than Manchester City, mate. I promise you that. I'm so happy with that one. Uh, Absolute Screamer up the red said, It's KDS. Thank you, mate, for being a member for three months. Don't forget, we will have uh, a little bit of additional time at the end of the first half because of the stoppage to Leno but you've been you've been treated today to two absolute worldies from Liverpool so far the lads have just sent me a picture of, of an actual broccoli juice well it won't be coming into my house lads I can promise you that we're uh, we banned the broccoli juice in our house no broccoli juice right we're less than 30 away from hitting 229 before half time can we do it so hit that sub button if you haven't we've uh, yeah we're very close very close. We'll have done a thousand likes and we'll have gone up a thousand subs in the first half. Come on, boys. And we're 2 1 up. On a holiday in Bali and I'm watching this. I love that flex. Love that flex, fix me. Wow. Very jealous of you, mate. Bali. I've never been. I've got friends who've been and uh, it looks pretty damn nice. So happy right now. Two screamers today. That'll do. What a strike. What a strike from Alexis. Not bad for your first goal. Yes, it was a worldie, Mike. Absolute worldie. Oh, when the Reds go marching in. Oh, when the Reds go marching in. I want to be in that number. Oh, when the Reds go marching in. Brighton goal back at Stamford Bridge as well. So it is now. Oh, Newland's still up on the screen. I forgot. Poor old Newland's going to be exhausted. I forgot he was still up on the screen. So it is 2-1 to Chelsea now. Brighton have pulled one back. Enzo with their first goal. Not, sco not sure who scored their second. Yes, absolutely. Two quacking goals. Buffalo Soldier. 100%. I can't wait to rewatch these, mate. Match of the day's defo going on tonight. Uh, Aaron said, Here in the USA, most people think football is boring. I don't understand it at all. These goals have been absolute peaches. Love the beautiful game. Aaron Garza, thank you so much, mate, for your super chat. And yeah, it's not boring, is it? Our beautiful game. It's delicious, especially when it's played as beautifully as those two strikes from Trent and McAllister. Colwell with the second goal. Thank you, chat. Thank you for reminding me of that one. Sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are blue. Even though it would be grey, wouldn't it? Be skies are grey. Because if your skies were blue, you'd be already fucking happy, wouldn't you? So, when skies are grey... How's Kelleher played? He's not, he's not really had nothing to do except pick the ball out of the net for the goal they scored, which Chaff feel he could have done better with because he was megged. But it was one of them, it was flicked really quickly right in front of him by Wilson. Um, I, I kind of agree that I think Alisson would have saved it though. I do think I agree with the chat on that one. McAllister to Salah. 
to Darwin. Back to Mo. Unlucky. Cleared by Fulham. Come on, boys. We'll find out the stoppage time now in a second. It should be quite substantial. Oh, Darwin with a silly foul there. Nine minutes, people are saying, for the stoppage time. Nine minutes. I'm from Darwin, Australia. We love that. Cheese Mac. Cheese McGee, well in. There we go. Just the confirmation on my screen. Nine minutes. Still waiting for Craig to sing More Than a Feeling by Boston. Oh, mate, I feel I could have a whack. Remind me of that when my voice is healed a bit and I'll give it a bash for you. I'm humming it in my head here now, trying to get the tune right. So I think I can pull that one off. More than a feeling. I was here. I think I can get there. I think I can get there. Red card in the Chelsea game. I'm a be dreaming. I feel like I can get there, mate, when the voice is when the voice is a little bit less raspy. Another corner here to Fulham. Good block from Matip. Connor Gallagher sent off in the Chelsea game. So, that game is finally poised. Chelsea 2-0 up now. Pegged back to 2-1 and a red card for Mr. Connor Gallagher. It's what you get for having a man bun and a ponytail deservedly sent off. I don't even know what he did. Yes, I believe that was Macca's first goal for us, Blair. Just a reminder, it was nine minutes added on by the ref. Go on, Mo. Go on. Arnaud Snagwija. Go on, Mo. Another Fulham corner. These are stacking up in the first half. <coughs> Verge back there. I don't makes me nervous when we marks only. I don't like it. I'm a big advocate for man marking. Cross in. Oh, it's two all. That's shocking. How have we let that in? That's shocking. The flag up. Flag's up. So I don't know. I haven't seen a replay yet. Flag's up. I haven't seen a replay yet. But again, it's just shite defending. I think I, I think he's onside, lads. I think he's onside. I think he's on, lads. For me, this is onside. He's on. He's on. This will stand. He's on. So shit defensively. He's onside. There's no way this is offside. Darwin's feet. Look. Darwin's bloody foot. For fuck's sake. It's gold stands. He's onside. Oh, Kelleher. That's shut it up better. That's weak. So weak. <sighs> That's poor from Kelleher. I can't defend that one. He dives past the ball. Lads, I've got no idea how VAR has taken this long. That seems like a goal to me. Goal given. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, we 
can't defend, lads. We, we can't defend. Just before half time as well. Fuck off. So simple. A flick from a corner and nobody turned on. Nobody switched on. So again, I'm not defending Kelleher because he should have done better. But where is our defence? Where is our defence again? You could see what Kelleher was trying to do, which was get out and block the player before he turns and hits it. But the question again is, where the fuck are our defenders? I didn't make an excuse from Teddy. I, I have not made a single excuse for Kelleher on that second goal, mate, because there's none to make. It was poor. Should have done better. I'm not defending it. But I am saying, where's our defence? So Kelleher could have done, should have done better. 100%. But what about the flick unchallenged and nobody marking the player either? We can't let everybody else off. That's another Fulham corner here as well. Surely that's off. Fulham of the ball in the net and the flag's gone up. Fuck, lads, we can't defend. We can't defend. Nobody from corners, nobody. Every time they get a set piece, we look like conceding. Ream is off on this one. It's flicked on by Polina. Look, nobody. Nobody challenging any of these lads. He's offside. He is offside. It won't count. <coughs> but we can't defend. It's embarrassing. So it is offside. Confirmed. Every set piece we look like we're ready to concede from. So I get it. I know you're all going in on Kelleher and that sound. He deserves some critiquing. But you can't let the defence off the hook. I'm going to have to start banning a few people who are being unnecessarily vindictive towards Kelleher. Kelleher leave. I mean, is that what we are like? He's being poor. I'm not defending that, but come on. Reckon we offered De Gea a contract? No, you're all right, thanks. The zonal markings are shambles. It is. Look, <coughs> I'm all up for calling out the keeper on what he should have done better. Absolutely. But my God, we can't defend for shit from a set piece. Every single time. So poor, lads. <sighs> Scoring two at home. And we've already conceded two in the first half. Fuck me. Falafel, you're getting a, a ban, unfortunately, mate. Because you put in a fake score. Oh, and lucky Mo. Mo forces a save. Diaz, you're off. Why are you even coming back onto that? Darwin, get up! Darwin's coming out and he's fucking playing like Goldilocks today as well. Christ. 
Our attack has been poor. We've scored two goals. Our defence is what's screwing us. Our defence, which includes the keeper, is screwing us. Another strike across from Darwin. This time Leno saves it. Oh, fuck yeah. It's been an eventful first half. Two worldy goals from us. Two absolute screamers. And then our goalkeeper and defence just haven't shown up in the first half. And we're going to be going in 2-2. Trent has scored two and two, but every goal is coming on the right. So for strike, we need three solid centre halves. Well, firstly, we need to stop giving balls away in possession. Secondly, we need to stop with this uh, bullshit defending, like, zonally. It, it just doesn't work. People just get runs on us, and we're just left standing with our nuts in our hands as they flick it on. It's bullshit, like. Our defending set piece is embarrassing. So yes, absolutely, Callagher deserves critiquing. But so does the rest of that defence that's letting this happen. 11 minutes of stoppage time. Referee, can you fuck off and blow the whistle? Half time, eventually. And look, plenty to go through. Uh, what has been a very frustrating 45 So Liverpool take the lead with an absolute wonder strike from Trent. Concede with a Harry Wilson equaliser. Then we go up and score another worldie from Alexis McAllister. Only to concede a really poor equaliser to Tete. Poor in every sense. Poor from Kelleher. Poor from the centre-backs. No marking. Just gash. <coughs> We need to sign De Gea. No, we don't. We don't need to sign any goalkeeper for three league games. That's just ridiculous. Honestly, get a grip. Come on now. You don't sign players for a few weeks. What do you do with them for the rest of the four or five years? And I get it. People have a blame at the old goalkeeper. No problem with it. But it isn't just the keeper. Matip gave the ball away for the first goal which was an intended pass, then we didn't defend after that. How many set pieces have they nearly scored from? Again, it, who's blocking the men on the runs? Who's challenging aerially? And who's picking up the second balls? The answer is nobody. Nobody's winning the aerial challenges from set pieces. Nobody's watching the runners and nobody's winning and are reacting quickly to second balls. That's on the defence. And on this bullshit zonal marking nonsense that I've never understood. Didn't understand it when Rafa did it. Don't understand it when Klopp does it. Don't get it at all. Don't get it. What's the benefit of it? You're left standing still in an area where players get runs at you. And all it does is one flick, your defence is standing still. A late runner and it's good night Vienna. I don't like it. Man marking's the way to go. I've never ever liked zonal marking. It just means anybody can get a run on you. And if somebody gets a run on you to jump, you ain't beating them standing still. Kelleher shite, Stevie Wonder could do better. Again, I don't know why people say this like it's an insult to me. Kelleher hasn't been great, but you can't just ignore the rest of the gash. You can't ignore the rest of the shite defending. For it to get to that point where Kelleher softly concedes... Other stuff has to happen in the build-up. So Van Dijk doesn't get a pass. Matip doesn't get a pass. Trent doesn't get a pass. They've all been woeful at defending these set pieces. The amount of people I see in the chat who are just blindly letting the defence off is is ridiculous. The second's on Kelleher. No, it's partly on Kelleher, 
partly on the fact that one, none of our defenders reacted and two, nobody challenged the first fucking header. It is weird, like, the goalkeeper's the last line of defence. Shit has to happen for it to get that far. And you can't just ignore everything that happens before a goal and just keep pointing fingers at a keeper. Kelleher was terrible. Should have done better. No denying it. But our defence also needs a lot of work because every time Fulham have had a set piece, we've looked likely to concede. Uh, we're in trouble without Alisson two cheap goals. Again, I'm going to say this one more time. Alisson wouldn't have stopped Matip giving the ball away when he tried to play it to Salah. Alisson wouldn't have stopped the fact that nobody tracked Harry Wilson's run. That's on the defence. And if you have to take, you have to look at this in a whole picture. So yes, 100% Kelleher should have done better, particularly with the second one. But the big problems that are there consistently are going to be have to dealt with as well. Have to be dealt with. Kelleher will be gone in a few weeks and Alisson will be back in. But those giving away possession and turning over counter-attacks, that's not going to go away. Twice in the first half, Darwin's given the ball away with one of them with a ridiculous attempted crossfield pass that almost had us countered as well. Just being worked out, that's it. We're waiting passes out there. Aside from the individual efforts, we seem collectively okay as a unit. Said uh, Bumba Dog. I can't believe somebody actually said there in the... Yeah, we got it, mate. Irish Onana, brilliant. You've said it about 50 times. But here's the thing. Onana costs 40-odd million and is the number one. Kelleher's a backup goalkeeper. So the comparison is weird because, to be fair, we have another goalkeeper that will be coming back in in a few weeks. Onana's, Onana's forever. Um... But, yeah, some people in the chat were actually giving out a better a forwards as well. We scored two goals. It's the defence that's uh, making sure we're not seeing this game out. You know, you would imagine two goals in the first half at home. You'd be fairly confident about that. But to concede two, it's just not good enough. Uh, Alisson should be back for the United game, so... Just under two weeks, I think. Uh, as I said, Kelleher soft hands granted, but our defence is poor. We need the ball to get to Kelleher. He should flap the ball strongly away. <coughs> Absolutely. Look, I'm not... I have more sympathy with Kelleher on the first goal, to be honest with you, because it was just past him before he got a chance to react. The second one, I agree. Poor. Um, you could see what he was looking to do. He thought he was going to be able to come out and close Tete, who was trying to turn. But Tete outwitted him, hit the ball quickly on the turn. And then Keller had dived past the ball at that point, pretty much. And it trickles into the goal. But again, you got to um, you got to ask, how are we losing all of these headers? Polina on one header. I can't remember who was the second one. Then the one where Ream scored an offside goal. We've lost every one of those challenges aerially from set pieces. Every single one of them. With Matip, with Van Dijk, with uh, Gravenberg, with pretty tall players out there, and we're losing everything in our own penalty area. <clears throat> uh, 2-2 was embarrassing against a team that's... Mate, it's fucking... The amount of people who's clearly never played any sport in their life that love to just shit on people is mental... I thought I was negative, honestly, but some of the stuff I see in the chat makes me laugh. 2-2 Two is embarrassing against a team that's 12th. Football isn't played like that, mate. You don't just come out and go, we're better, give us the three points. You've got to earn it. And we've scored two very good goals in that first half, but yet again, we're our own worst enemies in possession. And we've turned over too many times. We've not defended set pieces, but it's still scoreless, as in a draw, I should say, excuse me. Um... So, ultimately, it's like the game was still nil-nil in my head. And we have 45 minutes to put it right. And we need to put it right. And we need to be so less lacklustre, so less arrogant. It's probably a good phrase. Uh, watch Kelleher have a great second half. Again, look, Kelleher was poor. I'm not making any argument. But as a, as a team, as a unit, we haven't defended well enough.
uh, as someone said, as a goalkeeper myself, I never hear the end of that. So as a goalkeeper myself, I know what Kelleher was trying to do. If you look at it again, what he was trying to do was get out and close down Tete while he was turning. Tete outwitted him and turned and hit it as he was turning. Very clever from Tete. And then Kelleher looks like a clown because he's fallen down face first, throwing the leg at it, trying to stop it. So I could see what he was trying to do, just didn't execute it. But you know what I didn't see? Anybody fucking challenging Tete or anybody winning the first header. That's what gets to me. I can't understand how we've lost pretty much 80% of those set pieces that have come in. Aerially, just not good enough. Darwin is Darlos. Darwin's being gash. Darwin's being terrible in that first forty-five. Um, yeah, he looks a half yard off. Um, Diaz has looked okay. Salah, don't really know what to make of Salah in the first forty-five. Um, McAllister's done okay. Sobitzlai needs to be a bit better. Gravenberg, he's done all right. Look, there's forty-five minutes to turn this around and get a win. It just it's weird feeling like we've scored two in the first half and yet we're still sitting here 2-2. Two, two. It's uh, not good enough, really. We have hit 229k, so thank you for that, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We'd love to push towards 230, as greedy as we are. Uh, Klopp will get the lads on form, but Darwin... No disrespect to him. Should not have started Gakpo. Should have. So, again, I would have started Darwin, but I haven't. How do I say this? I would have also started Darwin, but I would have also been wrong because he hasn't really lived up to that starting place given to him by Klopp. So, yes, if you're Cody Gakpo and you're sitting on the bench, I think it's fair to think you can feel a little bit unfortunate. Um, and you certainly would feel like he's going to be the first substitute if we make one. Keeper a fault with both. No, not for the first one. I'm not having it. I'm sorry. I'm not having it for the first one. If you've ever, 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 ever played football, particularly as a keeper, you'll know that first one, what happened. It was past him from a flick before he knew what was up. So now I'm not having that was Kelleher's fault. That was down to our two defenders. I think it was Trent and McAllister who did nothing for the run of Harry Wilson. Just allowed him in between the two of them. So now I'm not having it for the first one. Second one, 100%. Um, but the first one, it was just flicked really quickly. And what can he do? He's no time to react. He could have closed his legs. You don't stand with your fucking legs closed. Look at every single footballer on the pitch, particularly a keeper. You don't stand in a position ready to make a save with your legs closed. It's not what's done. It's not natural. It's not a position that you're going to be in. <sighs> Come on now. No goalkeeper ever, 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 ever stands there with their legs closed. Because they have to be crouched and they have to be ready to act and pounce and make a save. So to do that, you're going to have to be in position with your legs apart. Come on now. Ali would have saved the first one. See, the thing is, you've no way to prove that and I've no way to disprove it. It's a hypothetical conversation. But again, I'm more concerned about the defence because the defence is still going to be here when Alisson comes back. The defence is still going to be losing those challenges, still not picking up those runners. So that's where I'm more concerned about because, yes, Kelleher's going to be replaced by Alisson when he's back fit. But we're still going to be having these same situations where we're not picking up second runners, we're not winning the first challenge, and we're not even challenging second balls. Twenty six conceded on twenty two XG. Defend that again. 
Am I in any way trying to defend the defence here, Toby? I think, if anything, I've been calling out the defence for the whole of half time. So, and those 26 conceded on 22 XG, how many of them were Kelleher? And how many of them were Allison? But again, I think my own opinion is that the real problem is going to be the defence. And that's not going to change in two or three weeks when Allison's back. So, if I'm Jurgen Klopp, I'm starting to try to figure out a way. One, how we defend set pieces aerially because we've been second best in that department. Two, why are we not contesting second balls in the penalty area? And where the fuck are these Fulham players getting the space from? Uh, Christian, thank you, my friend, said, we've been terrible on defending the counter and set pieces. Kelleher can only do so much. It's a team sport. He could have done better, but not everyone is doing their job. Absolutely, he could have done better, mate. I agree with you, Christian. But people jump into the chat having no idea about how the game's actually played as a team and just point fingers at the keeper. Yes, he's been poor, but so is everyone ahead of him who's letting it get to that point. Is the half not starting? Not yet, no. They're coming out here now, but we're not on the way just yet. How long is Jota out for? I'm not sure yet. We didn't get a definitive time frame from Jürgen. He just said it was a little bit longer. Right, second half about to get underway. And hopefully Klopp has gotten into the boys at half time and told them we need better in the second half. Can we talk about our two goals though? Oh yes, sir, Imran. They were. You won't find two better goals, mate, this weekend probably. Or you'll struggle to. They were worldies. So Liverpool will be attacking the cop end now, second half. So fingers crossed we can get this result. John said, why can't we why do we have to take sides? Keepers and defenders, both culpable first half. Why can't people just support the team? Thank you, John. Right, we're underway, second half. Joel Matip does the decent thing, launches the ball long left hand side. And hopefully we put it right in this 45 because we need to be better than we were in the first, particularly in defence. So just looking around, I can't see any changes from Jurgen Klopp at half time. I will run through the bench for you guys just to remind you who's an option for Jurgen today. Liverpool bench has Gomez, Endo, Canade, Adrian, Jones, Gakpo, Elliot, Doak, and Kwanzaa. So they're the options for Klopp. McAllister to Matip all the way back to Kelleher I've no idea what way to predict this second half by the way Van Dijk he tries the ball in behind the Sobba slides defended by Fulham Diaz fouls the Fulham player trying to win the ball whack, 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 trying to win the ball whack. Come on, boys. So for me, I'm looking at Darwin for the first 10, 15 minutes. And if he's not added quickly, he's the first substitute for me if I'm Jürgen. And then I'm probably taking off. Probably taking off Sobos life for Elliot, if I'm being honest, if he doesn't book up his ideas. Uh, let's win the second half. Big up Craig and the team. Thank you, LFC Mool. Appreciate you. Three months with us as a member. Thank you, bud. Offside flag up here already. Fucking Jesus. He's already offside. We're only seconds in. He's so shit at arcing them runs. How many goddamn times does he do that? You can see he's even trying to check his run and he's still not getting it right. And he's still getting caught offside. Come on, boys. Counter attack here. Trent in possession. Come on. Poor. He tries to slip it into Darwin or to excuse me to Diaz, but it's not on. Now it won't be attacking the space. Trent's left. 
McAllister steps back in. Well done him. Taken up the space. Vacated by Trent. Matip. Gakpo. Come on, boys. Get stuck in the fuck. Fulham in possession, wide right. It's gone out, has it? Yep, yeah, goal kick. Ooh, Bournemouth goal. 2 1 up. Interesting. It's not a great result for Villa. If only Nunes had some of Elliot's football ability, said White Hammer. How long do you leave this if you're Klopp before you make this change? McAllister. Back to Verge. Fifty five minutes at Colin, sixty minutes at LFC KSA. Come on, boys. Trent unlucky. Again though, we've given it to Fulham and a Wobie to counter. Come on, boys, press. The Anfield atmosphere is bad. It's affecting us, said Mahad. I can't hear it, buddy. Um, obviously, I watch the games on mute, but I'll take your word for it. It doesn't look like anybody there is uh, overly enthusiastic anyway, looking around. Diaz. Come on, boys. Gravenberg. Diaz. Come on. Oh, he turned back into traffic. Throw into Liverpool on the far side. Come on, come on, come on. For those asking, it's not on TV in the UK. No, it is. Uh, it's on Peacock in America, Super Sports South Africa. Oh, Darwin strikes blocked, and it'll be Liverpool corner. Good ball in behind that. Good run from Darwin. Came off Bassey's leg and it goes behind for Liverpool corner. Be nice if we could score from a corner, wouldn't it? Be lovely for a change. Can start conceding every opportunity from them. Trent gives the signal. It's a deep corner. Headed away by Raul Jimenez. Salah. Gravenberg, strike, Ooh, pulls it wide, tried to pick the keeper's near post, the keeper got down but it was going wide, goal kick Fulham, hope you don't resort to pot shots like that out of frustration, Diaz. Come on, boys. Sobosly. Ooh, unlucky. Sobosly strike is parried by the Fulham keeper, Leno. Mo tries to get in for the second ball, but Leno gets up and recovers just in time. Come on, boys. McAllister to Van Dyke. That's a bit of an aimless ball pumped forward by Verge. Fulham now got a chance to counter. They work it into the right channel to Harry Wilson. Cross in. Trent heads it away. It's almost like with the flick. Darwin. Mo, come on, boys. 
Come on. Oh, he's hit the bar. Darwin's hit the bar. So close. Salah was running, running, running. Times it right. Slips it to the right to Darwin. His shot rifles the crossbar and comes back into play. And then he turns and gestures to the crowd to get up and make some noise. Oh, lucky Mo. So close. Darwin needs extra shooting practice. I mean, it's not... It's not like he blasted that 15 yards over the bar, to be fair. It hit the crossbar and came back out. But yeah, look, it's frustrating. I get it. It is. Maybe he needs to learn to just take a little bit off these occasionally. Unlucky. Ricocheted ball through. Nearly fell to Salah. It looks like Liverpool are starting to ramp it up a little bit. Man on. No, McAllister too weak there. He's been brushed off the ball. Come on now. Get back. Awobi's ball in. Come on. Costas brings it away for Liverpool. Come on. Come on, boys. Get bodies forward. Come on. Diaz now. Oh, I don't know what that was from Lucho, but it was shit. If it was a strike, it was weak and it straight at the keeper. It was two lads at the far post he should have looked to pick out. And it goes straight into the arms of Leno. The disrespect of some of you fuckers to your players is disgusting. Somebody actually says Diaz is useless. Are you actually that thick, mate? Are you just get out of my chat? I've no time for you, mate. That's just pathetic. Diaz, the man who's literally rescued us with goals recently, is useless. You are an embarrassment, mate. That's a joke of a comment. The absolute stupidity of some of these people in the chat baffles me. Players miss a shot. Fair enough. Get frustrated by it, but to say it's fucking useless, that's embarrassing. And people have to cheat to tell me I'm reactionary? Diaz is legit as a footballer. This is why I don't take part in the chat anymore. Too toxic since your increase. Nah, it's not, Nick. Look, there's a bit of toxicity in there, bud, and we will remove it. You're right. But our chat compared to 99% of other channels' chats is pretty good. You know, we work hard on it. But there is a lot of negativity today, and um, that is frustrating, Nick. I do agree with you, mate. Sub us light. Into the left channel. Graf. Oh, poor. I don't even know who he was trying to pick out there. Does feel like we're we're ramping up the tempo a little bit today. Salah, unlucky. Come on, boys. I wonder how long we will see Jurgen leave this. Surely he's got to be starting to think now about a change or two in the next few minutes. Uh Grafenberg for Elliot. Maybe. Gravenberg for Elliot. Oh, I might go Sobosly for Elliot, you know. So Gakpo, look, there's a good show for Gakpo to come on, definitely. But I I, I think I might go Elliot for Sobosly, to be honest. Oh, Diaz, strike. Unlucky. He's on the turn. He gets it on target, but just not enough power in it. And it trickles into the arms of Leno.
How's Salah been playing? He's defended well. He's got back and defended well, but he hasn't been as involved in the game as I would have liked. But that being said, you know, with Darwin's shot that rattled the bar, that was a pass from Mohamed Salah from a very good attack and run. Again. Come on, boys, get back. Wilson, his run's off. Somebody tackle him! Fucking hell. Everybody's backing and backing and backing off. Andreas Pereira just kept backing off, backing off, backing off. Eventually he gets a strike away. Thankfully, it's uh, it's high and wide. Come on, boys. Step up, step up. Jesus Christ. There's two of our lads out there. And Diaz still finds a way to stupidly fell Polina to give them a free kick in a wide area, which will give them a great chance to whip another ball in for a cross. And we all know how well we've defended them today. So that was silliness. We had two lads out there and he still brings them down for a foul. Just weird. Costas, well done, lad. Well done. Gets a cross, blocks out Wilson, plays it off and for a throw in. Well done, Costas. Willian getting ready to come on for Fulham. Getting his instructions from Lewis Morte before he comes on. Oh, Gravenberg slipped. Fuck me. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're giving it back to them again. Cross in. Heather away by Matip. Come on, boys! Oh, he's got it. Go on, go on. Cross in. Mo heads it down. Darwin. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. How do I fuck me? Oh, Jesus. As that was poor. That was poor from Darwin. Salah heads it to him beautifully. And all Darwin has to do is side foot it past the keeper and we're 3-2 up. I just missed the ball altogether pretty much and dragged it wide. Hard to defend that, lads. It's hard to defend that miss. Change for a Fulham. I think it's Wilson. Harry Wilson coming off, I think, is it? Yep, it is. Harry Wilson coming off. Willian coming on. There's a double change coming up here for Fulham. Uh, so Wilson and Pereira off for Fulham. Willian and who's the other one? Is it Kearney? Yeah, Kearney and Willian on. Why does it feel like Nunes uh, on shoots more often? I like him, but his decision making positions needs to be worked on a lot. He can uh, cross certain positions. Ugh, there's no, he should have scored that. I can't. It's frustrating and I can't really defend that one. Mo picks him out with a lovely header. And that's twice today that we should have had um we should have had a goal from Darwin with a Mo assist. I don't care if he slipped. Someone's saying he slipped, calm down. It doesn't make any fucking difference to us, mate, if he slipped or not. It's still a guilt edge chance that he should be burying. If he slips, then he got to get better footwear. Or be in a better stance. Uh... 
Uh, Bonner, thank you for the super sticker, mate. Has Pelina still not been booked in this game, by the way? Even after that challenge? How many fouls is Pelina going to get away with? Fuck, that's his fourth I can think of. Mo heads it to Trent. It's flicked back goalwards. Again, Polina heads it away. Back out to Trent. His cross in. Flicked on. Oh, goes off Diaz and goes behind. Come on, boys. It's over to the gaffer now. He's got to be going to the bench. Here we go. Interesting. Soboslai off, Gakpo on. And Joe Gomez is coming on, so I guess we're seeing Trent pushed into midfield. So McAllister off, Soboslai off, Gomez on, Gakpo on. Hmm. So we're going to see Trent go all the way up into midfield now? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, thank you, Bunner, for your super chat, mate. You said you'll never walk alone, lads. Come on. Well, look, we've got four attackers on the pitch now, so... Goal kick to Fulham. 25 minutes plus stop. It's time to go. Four attackers on the pitch. Trent up into midfield. I mean, we've got to go and get this win. Someone said in the chat, Chimicus has been awesome. He's been good, yeah. He's been very steady over the last few games. Fair play to him. Credit where it's due. Come on, the fuck? Somebody show for him. They've given Trent free kick as an own goal. Trent is so bad. You've gone. Mods, I need you to step up here. Some of these lads are just being idiots. Trent is so bad. Will you start removing these fucking morons? I'm still trying to... How is Trent's free kick an own goal? Have I missed something? How is that an own goal? Now Matip's injured. I'll just drag him off and bring on Kwanzaa. Come on the hell. Yeah. Kanade's coming on. Ebu's stripped off and ready to come on. Oh, come on! Just what we need. A centre-back injury coming into the festive period. Hopefully it's not too serious for Joel, but it is Joel Matip who is going to be replaced by Ibrahima Kanade. It hit the bar and went in off Leno, did it? Doesn't matter, I'm giving it a trend to my head. Trent 
Trends goal is his WFM big love. Yes, I'm with you. Thick boy gaming. I'm with you on that one. I'm giving it to Trent as well. Right, ball given back to Fulham. Come on now. We're into the final quarter of this one and as things stand, it's not going to be a great afternoon. Ball reversed out to Salah. Salah's cross in's deflected. Lucho headed over goal kick. Ay, ay, ay. Again, by the time you've typed the fake score stuff, it's already been removed. You don't need to comment on every fake score. We can see it and we'll remove it. Go Mo Salah, go Liverpool, said Ibrahim. Thank you, Ibrahim. And uh, yeah, I would love a Salah goal today, mate. I'd love him to get that milestone goal. Oh, come on, you figures. Craig, you were in a different class the other evening, got a five you know the poor Mr. Stott was ah uh, no, Chris Chris, he took it well. To be fair, Adam was top lad, he took the banter well. Come on, Diaz, come on. Twenty minutes to go. We need to get a winner in this game. <sighs> Gravenberg strike again, straight into the arms of Leno. Midnight in Japan. Fair play to you staying up, my friend. Great to have you with us. I'm getting a bit tetchy here, though. I can't lie, lads. I'm getting a bit nervy. It's one of them horrible Sunday after the Europa League games. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kelleher, come on now. Wakey, wakey. Come on. Go on, Mo. Unlucky. Throw in. Throw into Liverpool, right-hand side. 19 minutes plus stop, it's time to go. Come on. Ebu. Oh, this has been frustrating, hasn't it? Cost us. Still just knocking it around. No real penetration. Just moving the ball around. Trying to find a weakness and probe our way through. But it's not looking likely at the moment. You're actually just a go. Thank you, Thick Boy Gaming. I appreciate that. I'll take it. Thank you for your super chat. I'm f getting frustrated here now, though. Come on, press! Jot is injured. Surely you know that, Graham. He's been injured for a couple of weeks now, mate. Cross in from Fulham. Oh, God. Ricochets off Canade into the arms of Kelleher. Gakbo. Reverse ball looking for Salah. Unlucky Trent. Unlucky. Little bit too much on it. Keeper comes out and claims it. Uh, CFCJs, you're right, Kyme. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, starting to get really nervous here. Come on, boys. Look, folks, do hit that subscribe button, by the way. If you are new to the channel or you haven't done it, we'd appreciate your support. 
this uh I wasn't expecting this hard of a battle today, but we've made it difficult for ourselves. Seventeen to go plus stoppage time. Would you rather have injury time after the half or combine it and hold it on to the end of the match? I think at the end of the match, yeah. I've never really thought about that Welsh Dragon, but I think I'd go end of the match, mate. What about yourself? William now. Fulham trying to set up a counter. Reverse ball. Come on, Ebu. Ebu, get back. Back up. Plays it out off. Jimenez, it'll be a Liverpool throw in. It does seem flat, John. You're right. It's very flat, mate. Double change here from Fulham. Castagna coming on. And Bobby de Cordova Reed coming on. Fifteen big minutes plus stoppage time. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest. We haven't really looked that likely. We've had the Darwin shot hit the crossbar, but and a Darwin missed opportunity from six yards that he fluffed. You just think if one of them failed to Salah, we'd have scored. Did we get any snow? No, no snow here, Mason. Pizza or lasagna? What am I choosing? I don't like lasagna, so pizza. 15 minutes to go. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. We'll run it back high up the field and give it straight back to them. Yes, Costas. Well in. Trent. Canade, come on boys, come on. I need a bit of Elliot brought on here, I think. Canade, Gomez. De Sala. No one near him, look, he's got to go all the way back to Kelleher. We need Elliot. We need somebody to make things tick a little bit to move this ball quicker. Because it's all too predictable and boring here. Just side to side, side to side. Come on the fuck. Somebody show a bit of inventiveness. Ball into the channel for Diaz. I mean, he keeps it in, but then he keeps it in by putting it out for a throw in. So at least Fulham will be down near their own corner flag. We need to put the pressure on City. We can't be getting a draw out of this. What are my opinions on the Manx? Which ones? The Reds, I have a respect for, but dislike their club as a, an institution, obviously, as a Liverpool fan. For the Blue Manx, I've no time for them. Willian. Why left? Fulham getting bodies forward. Ball slipped in. Strike. Kelleher saves. Come on, boys. Again, countered way too easily. Gomez, wide right. It's a low cross. Not great, and it's cleared by Polina.
Canada, it's just so fucking slow. How slowly we're moving the ball from side to side here. All Fulham have to do is shuttle across. Gakpo brushed off the ball easily. Cleared by Fulham. Back in possession with Liverpool. Canade. Nope. That pass given straight to a Fulham player as well to start the Fulham counter. Basic stuff again in possession. Fulham on the attack with Kearney. They could overread. Crosses deep, goes all the way through to Willian on the far side. Ball in. Kearney to the back post. They could. Ah, fuck off! Stat shy! Again! Nobody! Nobody challenging! Just nonsense! Dink to the back post, and the little tiny fella out jumps our centre backs. And it's 3-2 Fulham. That is shite. Jesus. How? 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 God almighty. Look at the state of this. First cross is over here. Goes all the way through to Willian. He plays it. And then it's just ding to the far post. Look you lazy little bitch. Costas doesn't even look over his shoulder. Look at the state of this from Costas. He doesn't even look. Dickard over Reed just jumps over him and nods it in as oh the state of it. Fuck off. Look at the state of that. Three two so easy. So goddamn easy. Just a dinged ball to the back post. And yet again, nobody there to defend. Fucking hell. So soft. How do we do this to ourselves? Fair play to Fulham, but... That's awful. I don't even know what to say to that anymore. We're getting what this performance deserves, which is nothing. Jesus Christ. He's bringing Endo on now. He's bringing Endo on now. He's bringing on a holding midfielder now with eight minutes to go when we're trailing and Elliot's still sitting on the bench getting splinters on his arse. I don't, I don't know what to say with that. I don't know what to say with that substitution. That's... I, what what am I supposed to say to that? Bring it off Gravenberg and bring it on Endo when we're losing, when we're trailing. <laughs> Elliot's sitting on the bench and he brings on fucking Endo.
seven minutes and stoppage time to go. This is so fucking poor. Gakpo to Gomez. Dings to the far post. Costas nods it down. Trent strike. It's blocked. Second ball back. Ricochet. Oh. Goes for a corner. Endo shot. Ricochet's off a Fulham player. Spins out for Liverpool corner. Right hand side. Come on. Oh, saved. Oh! Header saved and then Salah blasts the follow-up over the bar. Good save there. It was Lucho with the header. It's parried out by Leno and Salah tries to hit it first time and blasts it over the bar. Oh, it's one of them days. This is so sad. I'm struggling to keep it together here. I can't lie. I'm struggling not to lose my shit. Uh, what? How do you concede three goals at home? Gakpo, Gomez, another cross in, straight into the arms of Leno. <sighs> Leno goes long with the goal kick. Kelleher. Verge. I'm so fucking angry. Ebu. Diag. Salah. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, hello! Endo! Woo! 3-3, three, three, I told you. Class substitution. Called it immediately. Watoro Endo. Top bins. 3-3. Three, three. Come on now. Come on. Endo, top bins. Ball's played in. Darwin nods it down to Salah. He pulls it to the edge of the box. To Endo, right foot, side foot, top corner, Dan Kishun. I told you. I mean, I don't know why anybody was doubting that change from Klopp. It was obviously the right call. It was obviously. What a strike. By the way, we haven't scored anything but worldies today. Oh my days. What well, Toro Endo? Take a bow, son. Whew. Oh my god, that was amazing. Come on now, come on. Oh. Trent, you fucking dancer! Go on! Trenty boy! 4-3! Go on! Go on! Trent Alexander-Arnold again! Go on, son! 
four, three, whoop, 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 whoop. Rule out his first goal, doesn't matter. He steps up and bags another. Liverpool 4 3 up. Go on! <sighs> Initial strike was saved, gets to the edge of the box. Trent traps it with his knee, then buries it near post. Woo! Where's the trolls gone? Where's the trolls gone? Come on! Come on! <sighs> oh, it's glorious. It's beautiful. Newland's loving it. Sunshine! Moonlight, good times, boogie. Oh yes, oh yes. Do hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Over 8,300 people in the chat right now. Hit that subscribe button and we will push towards 230,000. Woo, what a day, what a game, what a comeback. What a man. Oh, yes. Can't defend for shit, but we can score free willingly. We love that. Watoro Endo, let me just say, what a man. What a goal. Set it all up and then Trent, boom. Seven minutes added on. Seven. Seven? Salah now. Come on. Seven minutes to go. Come on, boys. Let's see this out. Come on. Apologise to Endo right now, Craig. No, 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 no. Everybody in the chat knows one thing, and one thing is a fact. And I don't care whether you like me, hate me, or worship me. Everybody knows when I go in on a player, they score. Come on now. Come on. I have to try and take the credit somehow, right? But that's true. Every time I have a, a little dig at somebody, they step up and score. So, you're welcome. Come on, accidentally woke my stepdad up, said Charlie. I'm sure he won't mind, Charlie. So, you're welcome. What a strike, though. If you haven't seen it, Endo's goal was delicious. Trent, next, Gerard. Never sell him, not even for 500 mil, said Indian Scouser. I agree, mate, now. Thank you very much. I called Endo scoring, said Avani. Good. Good. We both got it right then, mate. <laughs> we both got it right. Oh, do hit that subscribe button, though. Honestly, we're closing in on 230. With your support, we can get there. If you love that Endo goal, hit the subscribe button. If you love the Trent worldy, hit the subscribe button. If you thought McAllister's was a worldy, hit the subscribe button. No defence, Craig. Just vibes, said King Cop 38 I'm fine with vibes, mate. I can live with vibes. Vibes are good. We'll take vibes as he sips from his carrot juice. Ooh, that's not bad, you know. <coughs> carrot juice, apple and peach. 2K likes as well. We love that, guys. Well in. Craig, you wanted Elliot on instead of Endo. It's reverse psychology, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's reverse psychology, pal. Do you know? You don't get to my level in this life and myself and Jürgen without knowing the old Jedi mind tricks. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the boogie. I just can't. I just can't. I just can't control my feet. I just can't. Craig, you're shameless. I know, I know. But it is true that when I do criticise players, they score. Now, that's not why I criticise the substitution. I genuinely criticised because I wanted Elliot on. But, um, yeah. Fair play to Endo. What a strike.
He absolutely made me look like a mug and I don't mind it. No worries whatsoever. If he continues scoring goals like that, I'll continue taking grief for it. No problemo. Come on now. Three and a half minutes to stop. It's time to go. Bangers FC. Here we go. Come on, boy. See this out now. For the love of God, see this out. Trent needs to be... Th those Adidas boots are already doing bits for Trent. I mean, come on. Trent swaps over to the old Adidas boots and the worldies are incoming left, right and centre. You just know Adam was starting the stream all happy over there on top of the league, thinking he was going to get to banter a little bit at me when I came over, but... Oh no, I'll be going in. Billy Big Bollocks, the top of the league. And don't forget, we are going over there. I'll be over there at about 25 past for, a, well, it'll be a bit later probably, for a, a, a watch along of the Manchester City game. Adam has started already. I'll do a match reaction, then I'll be over to him. The link for my match reaction is in the top of the chat. Oh, and the Reds! Go marching in! Oh, and the Reds go marching in! I want to be in that number. Oh, when the Reds go marching in. Whoop, whoop. Come on, boys. See it out. Yes, Endo. Salah. The Gakpo. Come on, keep pressing, keep pressing. Come on, boys. Two minutes to stop, it's time to go. Stand it, come on. No silly chances. Vibes FC, come on. We have a minute and a bit to go, stop it's time. Ball on the halfway line. Gomez to take the throw in. Ball forward looking for Darwin. He holds it up. Referee gives a free kick to Liverpool for a foul on him. We'll take that. Loud as the cop has been all game, said Chris Tatton Music. Yeah, definitely looked like they found a bit of life, mate, when um when that goal went in from Trent, all right. Marco Silva's getting a little bit irate on the sideline. Oh well. Oh well. Salah now. Just keep it down there, boys. That's it. Keep it in that end of the pitch. That's it, Trent. That's it. Corner flag it. All the way back. Keep the ball. Nothing stupid. That's it. Boot it up forward. Gakbo now. Come on. That's it. Ah, I tried to find... Come on, we've had... Yes, it's all over! The Reds have got the victory by four goals to three. What a game of football we have witnessed this Sunday afternoon. Liverpool went ahead, they were pegged back, they went behind, they turned it round, and there was just glorious goals everywhere. Game finishes up, the referee blows his whistle. It is Liverpool four, Fulham three. What a game of football that was. I'll be live for a match reaction in two minutes. Do not go anywhere. I will see you guys very soon. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the stream. And don't forget, match reaction pinned to the top of the live chat. Let's party. Let's celebrate. Let's dream. I'll see you.